Forecast Podcast Network. We appreciate all your support every week with all our different shows, games on crack, the forecast, unsportsmanlike conduct, and rule reviews. It takes a lot to keep this going. I mean a lot. All right, so we got different tiers that you can subscribe to. It's going to be right here on the side. Please, please, please help us keep this going. Please help us keep growing. We appreciate it. Thank you in advance. One. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Hey, it's Mad Miles, also known as Fresh Ass Deuce, and it's the Forecast Podcast. Let's go. Hey. To be savage. When I'm on that Molly, I feel savage. She the definition of a bad bitch. Stole her. The definition of a bad bitch. Yeah. I don't need no Molly to be savage. What? But when I'm on the Molly, I feel savage. What? And my girl, the definition of a bad bitch. Stole her. I'm the definition of a bandit. Put the perks down and pick up the jiggers, jiggers, jiggers. Yeah. Tommy in the fucking Tommy Hill figure. figure. Tommy hit a nigga, Tommy Hill figure, fuck nigga. I'm nice when I'm high, I'm feels I'm a fuck with her. Who that? Who that? Yeah, we in there. Like a sailor, I love the nailer. Addicted to a paraphernalia. I had to tell her. I see it like a fortune teller. Your ex nigga did good. I could do better. Bad bitch from the woods. I think she ain't talking to me. Hey, y'all know who the fuck it is in the motherfucking building. Mr. Kuda. Mama. We in the motherfucking building, man. What's good? What's poppin'? Miss y'all niggas. Miss y'all niggas, man. Physically. Cause I talk to y'all every day, so physically I'm just going crazy. Going crazy. Juice world, nigga. Slap on artists. Y'all got one fire album under his belt. It wasn't the last one. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the second one. That first one was a motherfucker. Man, hey man, what up, man? Man, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I hate these chairs. Damn, I thought you were about to say you hate Juice World. I'm like, damn. I've been trying to get comfortable over here. I ain't gonna lie, the little niggas feel like they're going through the chair and these little uh, We boy. need tables. <laughs> <laughs> we need tables and chairs <laughs> of our own. No, that's a I'm fact. We, that's the next investment. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm that ain't even, they ain't even got, no expensive shit. I got Facebook, lower back what up? issues. What's poppin'? Hey, we in the motherfucking building. Welcome to the Forecast Podcast. We are here on a Sunday. <laughs> Back. Praise back. God. Back. Guess what, y'all? Uncle Spooty, weak ass is all there on the other side. <laughs> Not selling shit. <laughs> Nigga ain't even over selling nothing. He trying to look busy in his birthday shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got his birthday shoes on. <laughs> Clap it up for the birthday shoes. <laughs> Nigga got his charisma tools on over You're there. You're a phony. Oh, crazy. <laughs> This guy's a great big phony. <laughs> he got his charisma the tools on. Charisma off. tools. Go off, man. The shoes on your girlfriend bottom bitches. Go off. Like, I gotta, gotta get the on. gotta get the Steph jersey off of this one. God, damn. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude. Crazy, man. Shouts to the Warriors, man. This boy's a motherfucking dummy. Shouts to the Warriors, man. Shouts to the Bay. All right. Shouts to the Bay. We'll be back, nigga. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. Hey, Steph coming I just back. want niggas to know. I just want niggas to know that I'm still riding. Is Steph coming back? Nah. You ain't got no choice, yes, nigga. He no, you're not. Mean? I don't think so. What this year? He's gonna sit this shit out. Man, hell no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah, he better not. Might as well, niggas. L of a season anyway. He might though. as well. Hey, he might well, as well just do the uh, David Robinson sit out so they could get another generational superstar. Yeah, that's what they. I, I thought. I, I thought I read somewhere that was they focus. I it would that's make what sense. I read. But I don't know. I don't know who. You know what I'm saying? Like what? What the draft order looking like? You know. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, D'Angelo Russell got his ass off. 
Where we at right now? Uh, we are at off. we are at the <laughs> jam handy. Don't don't disrespect. Don't don't do that, man. He had a good still night, lost. nigga. They still <laughs> lost, but it was still a, it was still a career high. Nobody. It was still though, a career bro. high, though, bro. This might be the worst that I've ever. You just gonna disregard. <laughs> This might be worse than I. Hey, you just gonna disregard that nigga like career high though, bro? Cause they still lost. Oh, the thing man, is, the crazy, crazy shit is though. Look he though, was, the crazy the shit is. Why are they still kind of like they not losing? They weren't. They were losing by a lot, but like now they not losing by a lot no more. It's like y'all supposed to be beating the shit out of these niggas that's at this point. Hey, I mean, nigga, that's you don't we think were, so? We've been saying that shit about the Lions for like years. <laughs> like, that shit don't matter. To me. Uh, <laughs> that ain't that ain't the same for sure, nigga. We, we talking basketball. Not compare the yeah, Lions to go to yeah, state. basketball uh, and the football. Shout that's out to Matt Stafford. He's injured. injured. He has uh, a back injury. Niggas, niggas always. <laughs> Niggas always come off the L like, hey, it was a close game, bro. Hey. Like, nigga, I don't care if it's a close game. Nigga, I'm not saying L, that. I'm nigga. saying they supposed to be beating the shit out of niggas. That's a fact. That's all I'm saying. Where we at, man? Fuck you, OU. We at the jam handy. <laughs> we at the jam handy. I uh, think it's a place where they give hand jobs out at, but that's not what's going on today. That's not what's going on today, man. Today is, uh, what the fuck is this called, man? The culture shop. <laughs> what the fuck? With the culture shop. What the fuck? Yeah, is this I ain't know. The culture shop, man. We here podcasting. It's a bunch of people in here selling shit. Spooty being one of them. Bang, See the empty bang, chair. Bang, Shout out to the vendors. Got this super fat guy walking through here. He's huge. <laughs> you know who he sound like? That's a huge guy. I'm not going to be here. That nigga's son. <laughs> Yo, man. You don't have to go somewhere, dog. Yo, I'm not gonna start the show off like Yo. this. I'm trying to get Yo. settled. Nah, we, I'm yeah. trying to get settled. We here, man. Drink you too much. <laughs> drink you some drinks, man. You're doing too much drink initially. You some drinks, let bro. Me, let me have a good time. Let me settle in. Have a good Just time. Have fun, Craig Beasley. Nah, we here though, man. We at the I culture shop. We set up, man. We set up live. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do our hey, show from here shout out to all the sponsors man shout out to first of the day yeah shout sure. out to h2e shout yeah. out to Krispy cream shout out to wrist work shout out to big stand shout out to i ain't named this clothing line yet that's what we wearing today hey bro except for crack diesel hey, yeah still waiting for my bag dm bro like, i'm about I to have a lot of colorways man, man. Back. These starts hitting hard, bro. This Paul. nigga, hey, fuck DA, bro. <laughs> where, where, where I hit, hey, I, I text him and Wayne. I'm like, bro. They went out last night. Yeah, I'm like, bro, hit me with the fucking move. This nigga DA, like, you don't fucking go out no more, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all he hit me with. He said, you don't fucking go out no more, nigga. <laughs> you want to go out? You come out the weekend after next, then. I'm like, damn, nigga, I do go out still. I just no, need I to know what the fuck we doing. <laughs> I'm just not the nigga that set the plays no more, nigga. Yeah, they don't understand niggas old, bro. Yeah. I just don't set the plays. But if you give up. me if you give me the move, I'll go. But I can't set the plays. This nigga trailing. He trailing. Yeah. You know, on I a fast break. Can't be, can't be getting caught over in the living room like, yeah. This I think uh, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had like five holes there. Yeah. yeah. So I can't, can't do that in the living room, DA. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm full ready so y'all can talk about. Something that's not on here yet. Oh, listen. To this, well, we'll man. thank we'll thank everybody, man. You know, um, thank you, thank you to uh, all the listeners, man. Right. The people who view us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts is one of our main areas. Shouts to the people that listen to Anchor. Shouts to the people that listen to Unsportsman like Conduct, Games on Crack. Shouts to the people that check out Urban Kings and Queens, man. Shouts to all y'all. We appreciate y'all uh, support and dedication. The plays are going up. Uh, you know, I remember a day in time when we were only getting 15 yeah. plays per episode. Now we up in like uh, it's double, and that may not mean a lot to you, but it's double. So we up in the 30s, 30s to 60s area with the with the plays and shit. So you know, we appreciate y'all sticking with us, man. As you can see, it, it, you know, we just getting better, strong, you know, stronger. I agree. Uh, I agree. G O K. You know, we set up some. On crack. We set up some cons. Yeah, you setting up some kind. Oh, dog ain't. We dog ain't over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so thanks, sound guy. We setting up some cons. Uh, we just getting, we just getting better, man. We just getting better. 2020, man. Sorry, the drops ain't been consistently on yeah, the days really they weird. they they supposed to be, but that's just because we gotta, we just gotta figure out a, a smooth way to get me the audio. Miles don't know what the fuck he doing. So yeah, we we working on um. 
making things more efficient yeah. for the yeah, for Miles the don't know what he's doing. The viewers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we viewers. coming with it. No, we just need. I just need to uh, get rid of this bitch and get another computer. I've been looking into that. The funds just been stupid, but somebody somebody was trying to sell me a um one that was a little better than this for four hundred, but. We need something yeah. with 16 gigabyte RAM on this got deck. It. This, got it. This got All it. Right, the other one had it too, but I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So shouts to y'all, man. Engage with us through social media. We still need people to subscribe for 99 cents a month, uh, or 4.99 or 9.99. Like Crack always say, man, it's not um, you know, whatever, he, whatever he said. Fuck what he says, actually, bro. Not required. I need no, 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 no. Nah, we need you to do it. <laughs> We need you to do it. It's not required. Ninety nine cents. It's required. Don't listen to us no more unless you unless you <laughs> fucking doing a, spending a dollar. All right, unless you spending a dollar. Patronize, nigga. You see, I came in this bitch and patronized. All right. Could have stopped at the liquor store and got some wine, but I knew somebody would be here selling alcohol. So, wait to get here. But shout to y'all, man. Shout to the listenership and the viewership and all that, man. Huh? Shout them out. Shout them out. Uh, Oh, shout out to it's Premium for getting me there. Right you go. Quick, yeah, damn, what you got over there? Yeah. Man, he just showed me some love. What you, what you got over there? A uh, lobster stir fry, lamb chops. How much? $20. Oh, Lord. Look good. Looks good. Oh, uh, my man's came over here uh, with the camera. He was asking if we wanted to do a promo. <laughs> 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 promo for what? I'm joking, bro. Uh, promo for what? He's a nice guy, man. Promo for what? Is he? No, just, just do a promo man. shot and say something. Any, um, it's no real announcements. GOK will be dropping some cons on you pretty soon. Oh, yeah. And we, uh, we got content. We just got content coming up, um, you know, with the end of the year. Uh, I, I want to compile, like, a best of list. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all, Let's get some content going, man. Year I'm end ready. content, man. Hey, I'm ready. I think, uh, hey, Friday, we, we I'm fr Friday. Uh, I'm ready, nigga. I'm about to be streaming you know, oh, yeah. Star shout Wars, out, shout Pokemon, out to, uh, Pokemon coming out, oh, Star Wars coming yeah. out. It's a good you know, week. It's a lot of good. Rick days. and Morty season four drop shout tonight. Disney Plus drop on the twelfth. Oh yeah, it's an awesome week, baby. We in the yeah, motherfucking man. building. Bang. It's a good week. Bang. It's a good week for nerds. Shit, baby. Good week Bang. for nerds, man. Yeah, New Twilight coming out. New Twilight? Nah, it ain't. Oh, I yeah, I just wanted to let oh, niggas yeah, know that yeah, you ain't fuck with it. That you ain't seen one of the best. That you ain't seen one of the best fight scenes. scenes. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck all y'all niggas. And for the niggas, scene, and for the niggas who don't know, like who ain't listening to like GOK, this nigga eats salads now, and this nigga uses French dressing. Bro. He's a fucking liar. This nigga uses French dressing. I'm not, listen, Catalina I'm on his fucking keep, salads, I'm not nigga. Keep on his salad. What type of shit is that? What more do you want I, from me? I ain't gonna type let niggas nigga, keep putting out type of nigga. these, these well, false nigga, narratives nigga, about my nigga life. Nigga almost nigga. 40. I like just eating I like, salads. I like Catalina, I don't like though. Don't want to eat French dressing. No, no, don't even. Don't even. No. On, don't, like don't, be in a dog. Be in a dog and get some vinaigrettes, man. Don't even. Don't even be in a dog. Get some vinaigrettes, man. This nigga. Any podcast that want to collab, man, let us know. You know. Urban Kings and, and Queens got some dope ass, ass episodes. Uh, any <laughs> podcast that wants to fight to the death, let us know as well. <laughs> Facts. Fuck y'all niggas. Hey, y'all niggas. The niggas at the table or you on the menu, nigga. You either at the table or you on the menu, nigga. Talk that shit. That's what tip we on, nigga. Nigga. Just food. Just wanted to put that out there too. I'm sorry. Oh, that shit look good. What's up? You gonna hit it? You gonna eat or you gonna hit us with? I don't fuck with you. Right? This nigga just eating. What you gonna do? Hey, 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 hey. Fucking with this food. And that's eating yeah, food yeah, right yeah. now. And to be fucking with you. Little stupid ass bitch. Little stupid ass bitch. Little stupid ass bitch. About you or anything that you do. Don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't. Let him know. Mad Miles, why you mad? Fresh ass too. He's on taste bread. bread. All day. What'd you say? Yeah, we lie. We lie. We lie. We lie. We lie. We lie. Yeah. We lie. Right, we lie. So, 
little stupid ass bitch, you bird. I'm gonna go ahead and speak on something. This is my personal feeling. I don't give a oh, fuck. Nah, 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 hey, nah, hey, nigga. Hey, nah, hey, nah, nigga. We standing behind like it. it. So listen. We standing behind <laughs> it. One thing I don't fuck with. Come on, come out the closet. These fans, okay? These LeBron fans Uh-oh. and these oh, media shit. fans Uh-oh. that's Uh-oh. hype off three triple doubles. <laughs> What's going on? Are we really excited about three triple doubles with a stack loaded team? I just really want to know before I get on my rant, I want to ask you guys, is there All really right, a big excitement <laughs> look, about man. LeBron Lakers winning like they supposed to and him getting three triple doubles in a row? No, I'm not surprised that these niggas going Somebody off. Somebody explain to me. I, but it's because niggas was calling him washed. That's why. Who? Oh. Because nah. they was because he's not the best player in the world, he's washed. Like he's still a. No, I'm just saying that's what player. people were saying. That's that's all. I didn't think he I was washed like, at all. Listen, I feel like the media set shit his up. Di- for his dick, his dick was fucked up last year, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. it, it, his dick was fucked up, it's so he couldn't play. Creating these what? narratives and shit like that. You got niggas. This nigga over there doing off. everything except podcasting. <laughs> Take <Taking laughs> pictures and shit. <laughs> fucking Carmen San Diego jacket on, <laughs> bitch ass <laughs> nigga, man. <laughs> They Tomorrow. don't even got the H2E shirts on. Why are you Tomorrow. taking a picture? I'm sick. I'm sick that nigga got the same jacket as me. <laughs> well, I mean, H&M got a sale, nigga. The fuck? I'm about to cop that bitch, too. <laughs> Shit, we all about to have that bitch why for the you, winter. Why you, why you acting like this? Because we all about to have that jacket for the winter time, <laughs> nigga. I like that motherfucker, too. We all about to have it. Shit. <laughs> niggas gonna be looking like NPCs in right. this bitch. I'm Whole bunch this of nigga. NPCs. Like he's Grab the that photo NPCs. On. He the cameraman. <laughs> Yo, but uh, you know I don't fuck with LeBron or his fans, so <laughs> you know I'm on your side. Bang, 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 bang. Fuck all y'all yeah, niggas, bro. bro. I don't, I don't get the big deal, bro. I mean, <laughs> come on, nigga, something to talk about, nigga. Yeah. Dame sixty, that's something to talk about, nigga. No, real shit. Hey, that nigga really got fifty seven. That. <laughs> That last three is so pointless. Get the fuck out of here. So nah, listen, it's 60, no, nigga. It's Get 60, the fuck out of right, here, nigga. It's 60, nigga. So listen, my thing about this is Westbrook, um, he ain't that last three. he's been averaging triple doubles for the past, what, three, four years now, and a lot of people down playing down talk him. So my question is that again. Was, that was after he wasn't winning, though. That's fine. But that the thing after. is Westbrook didn't have five didn't fuck of the best big man in the league. He don't get the players he want to play with. They're making an announcement right now. Excuse us. They ain't talking about nothing they got to do with us. Damn. <laughs> but I, I really just don't get it. Like, the Lakers are built to win. Um, yeah, like, I just don't get the excitement for real. Like, everybody's like, oh, he's in the 17th year. Let's, listen, he's probably one of the richest per- people in the world as far as African, like, black people go. So he should be in great shape. Like, he really takes care of his body. I'm not shocked or surprised. No, no I'm not either. He's I very talented. He was going, he I had a fucking before, year off. You thought this nigga was about year to come off. this bitch and go crazy? This nigga was going to have like an MVP type season. Like off the rip. So this shit ain't no surprise. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. The media, y'all need to get y'all shit together. Y'all need to do more. Y'all need Ooh. to deep dig deep and that actually nigga, get some good news. Shannon Sharp probably had an orgasm on himself three That's days in a row. That nigga go James. Go do it live. Go James. And just like... Do it live! You I can know, go, I'll write it and we'll do it, it live! You know what it is, though? <laughs> That's the camera. Fucking thing sucks! That's the camera. That's the cam. You, Thank you. You, good. you. Thank you. You know what it is, though? Big oh. hook. Wanna fight about it? Yeah, we wanna fight. Uh, <laughs> you wanna yeah, fight? That was, that was, I was really, disapp- really, really awkward. I was disappointed in a lot of like, the sports don't get media mad people, though. Like, hey, stay out the shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, walk away. <laughs> like a lot of the uh, sports media people was like dick riding it, and yeah. I, I was just confused. And I don't want Skip to fall into that. Oh, Kawhi shit either. It's kind of lame because now it's all that they show. He was lit as hell. No, I all was they about to, say, to be is LeBron Kawhi. I don't like LeBron, this. Kawhi. Yeah, I don't like that shit. That I shit don't lame, like how bro. last season it was this shit with like Kawhi. Like Shannon is like Kawhi's like biggest supporter on that show. Yeah, and they going back and forth, and Skip is saying like how he, you know what I'm saying, like he don't fuck with him and whatnot. And now this season, that now nigga that, was in that. Now that the you know what I'm saying, LeBron is. You know, back doing what he's doing. Kawhi coming off of a championship season. Now they've switched roles, and now Skip is like the Kawhi guy. It's like, y'all niggas is doing this shit. It's like wrestling, nigga. It's like wrestling storylines. Like, 
niggas turn face and heel and shit. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to be Shannon, the bad guy. Shannon now. been that LeBron guy for. But no, I'm saying in comparison, time, I'm saying like he was singing Kawhi's praises like last season, like yeah. in that finals and shit like that. Like he was, he was basically on this nigga dick like every fucking show. That's yeah. Fact. yeah. So now he be he be shading his like he says like shit like that you would say. <laughs> You would say to niggas like that ain't who Kawhi is, like in that the league. Or not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like people that's not even in that conversation of like best player on the planet type shit. Yeah. And I just, I don't respect that shit. Like, I, I feel like as media members and shit like that, I know these niggas is talking heads and shit, but like I would expect more, um, I don't know, like. I don't respect, I just don't respect like how they go about like bringing their opinion, like or getting the, their opinions across. They because need to, it, it's real fickle, you know what I'm they saying? They need to learn how to do that, but state the facts as well. Yeah. Because my thing about this, and I'm done after this, Miami been going crazy. Um, Phoenix been going crazy. Dallas been going crazy, but the Shea headlines- Shea Gilders Alexander been going crazy. Facts, man. and the headlines are still LeBron and Kawhi. Like it's more yeah, it's like in, other shit going it's on. It's more than the NBA that be going on, but y'all like, Lucas want to even, even on like that, the bro. shit with Cat, like Cat, you know what I'm saying? Been it's been getting off. You know what I'm saying? And Wiggins, I ain't even the biggest fan fucking of fucking Wiggins just went crazy. I'm saying like even uh we was talking about with D Lo, you know what I'm saying? He dropped however many points. How many points was the slap? Fifty seven? Fifty seven. Yeah, he Career dropped the fifty seven. Acknowledge lost. that. But uh, like my thing is like okay they lost. But I don't think they acknowledge. acknowledge I don't think they acknowledge they Luca enough either. They don't. No, Luca somebody been going crazy. somebody said that nigga stats. Trey Young, Trey Young, been Trey Young crazy. been going off. Somebody said that nigga stats is mediocre, nigga Lucas. And he almost averaging a triple double yep. right now. Yep, second year. <laughs> but again, not people to, to hype me. off LeBron getting three triple doubles in a row. And I love, a vet, like, a vet at that. Here. That's what I'm saying. Like it's certain shit, bro. Like I guess. You expect people in a certain classification at the top, at yeah. the very top, you expect them to do great things. And when you do, I feel like the problem is when we breaking down what these athletes do, it needs to be more in comparison to like the greats and not just like, yo, I feel like there's a generalization that kind of takes away from their greatness as players. When you do this thing with LeBron and you dick ride him for weeks and months throughout the season and you don't pay attention to like other other basketball players, other teams, other like there's a lot of other narratives that are going on in the NBA like this season. Like this season really is like one of the best seasons. Like even just starting this shit been it been crazy, bro. So I've been for, loving it, bro. For, yeah, so for people to kind of stick with, like, the same old... I get it. L.A. is, like, the shit right now. But it's, like, a lot. They going already on. rich. They market is amazing. Like, let's push for somebody else, bro. Yeah. Like, that's it. So, like, the thing is, the teams who lose still have great games. Yeah. So why not talk more about them? Bro, you know what like, I'm saying? Like, that shit just be weird to me, bro. I don't watch, like... I didn't see in Chicago. Going off. Saying? Balling. Playing great basketball, going crazy. So it's like it's it's something to see like everywhere in the league, damn near to me. Like I don't. That's I don't what I'm think saying. Like no I'm damn near about to get NBA TV, nigga. And Phoenix just for been the, going for the, crazy. For the Six dollars like, a month, just because niggas I really been going off. Yeah, I just I've yeah, been Devin completely. Booker been snapping. Yeah, I, I I was wrong about them niggas. I I don't know, like because I feel like they've done this before, where they've kind of started off kind of kind of hot or kind of decent, and they fall off towards like you know uh, All Star break. But yeah, man, they've been balling too. Like I don't see like a t there, there is this a lot of talent in the league like right now, just period, just Facts. across the board. So. Facts. Still, uh, yo, sign Carmelo, bro. <laughs> Facts, nigga. He yeah, told niggas I too in that video, like, nigga, I want to play. Yeah, I, I haven't Spirit, forgot about I Carmelo. Play. I know, I know, a lot of niggas then got off the Carmelo shit for some strange reason. Like, you see, like niggas been getting off in the league, and it's like that's the season care. started. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's niggas true. don't care now. Nah. Listen, man, to the nigga, to the nigga that said Luca got mediocre stats. 38, 14, and 10 
It's nothing mediocre about that. I'm sorry. You can it's not. Do I'm saying like. And it was Wayne. It was Wayne. Wayne said that. <laughs> it was Wayne. Wayne said that. 38, 14, and 10. 27, 7, and 7. 29, 14, and 15. 31, 13, and 15. 24, 14, and 10. Bro, Come on, bro. Off, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, Luca going off. What are you. I. No. Hey, you nigga. see MB hit one of them uh, Dirks? Hey. They put the comparison side by side if too. This, if if MB start hitting the dark nigga, yeah, they put the comparison side by side too. Yeah, hey man, yeah. all I'm saying is I don't fuck with. Hey, watching the sportsman like conduct, a lot of shit about to change. We about to, we about to get in the bag now, bro, because y'all niggas is Has losing. Real, real, real content, real, real, real sports content, man. real sports yeah. convos is coming. Already, I'm sick. This nigga Miles had to step up to the plate for your ass. Become, yeah. and become the new nigga. <laughs> He had the, He was there, there last the last time. He'd have been there like three times Hell since no. season two. What? This no. is third episode. Bro. I ain't hear that nigga on episode two or three. I feel like J Mo been missing. I didn't hear Artie on episode two or three. Uh, At all. I think he'd have been on three. <laughs> I heard him on the Yeah, I well, hear him on still. Damn. So you there, you there not saying nothing. Wow. Yeah. yeah but man, that LeBron cool. shit takes us into some positivity about him, what he's doing out off the court. Love the love Still the guy fucking with China. Love the guy off the court. <laughs> love the guy off the court, man. He building temporary housing for uh, families at his hometown oh, school. Another announcement. So he uh he talked to Tyler Perry. He talked to Tyler Perry. He said yeah. he said uh, Tyler, I heard that you building a compound for the LBGTQ plus community. Yeah. So I actually want to also put Chris build. Bosch in there. <laughs> I also want to build a compound, uh, you know, at the I Promise School. So shout, shout out to him, man. He, he built it. He built it. Right. Yeah, he built it. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. That's it's dope, when bro. that's when stealing ideas is good. Man. It's dope. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. So that's that's dope, man. He said his work focused on helping these kids earn an education, but if it's possible that uh. It's not possible if these people don't have a place to stay. And, um, and I don't know, Miles, I don't know how many kids, like, it's so school that you know for sure, but, like, uh, being in phrase, there's a lot of them niggas that's homeless. Man, I wouldn't oh, even no, be able to a, tell. It's always. No. Wouldn't even be able to tell. Niggas, like, staying in motels and shit like that. Oh, no, we go through wouldn't that even, Wouldn't year. even be able to tell. Like, that, that, that shit, that shit crazy as hell, dude. Um, Still, like, making it to school and shit, you know. Segway. Segway, um. A lot of kids, we had a conversation about the kids running away and people saying that the kids make themselves homeless. If a kid is trying to run away from a fucked up environment, Some, yeah. they're homeless. I don't care what yep. y'all think. Y'all always trying to make a negative into another negative. The situation not good, I want to leave as well. Don't nobody want to stay in no fucked up situation as a kid, bro. No. Never. Let's, let, let, let's, let's, consider it as let's go to this. Let's go to this since we're talking about that. So... So these niggas are kind of implementing. Well, number one, uh, did y'all see Kamala Harris' plan? Oh, to uh, plan to yeah, extend no. the school days. Yep. So here's what here's what she want to do. She want to. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Fuck so here's here's, here's and, and, and this exactly this exactly, this exactly why this bitch this exactly why this bitch not gonna make it. I never had faith in her anyway, but she pretty much wants to turn schools into like daycare centers, bro. So the bill would the have would here. have schools teach students the core curriculum for about seven hours and then the other three to four hours be extracurricular activity so that working parents don't have to pay so much for child care so while child care is expensive i don't think that that's i don't think that that's good uh i got a kid well i got kids you got a kid we we also are working parents paying for child care so at that point if i gotta get off at six you want me to pay more for child care because for me after 4 30 it go up for me if amir not home at 4 30 and now myla not not home picked up by 4 30 now those those rates after 4 30 go up a little bit so like you said crack if you're not fucking paying me more if you're not paying me more if you pay me more 
we could do this. Like, if you start starting teachers, starting teachers at a minimum of 60K. Starting. What Bernie want to do. Starting cookie, at 60. Cookie in the building. What's up, Cookie? Change for a 10. Um, I, you all right? I'm going to just say this. Cookie, that's crazy. You just walked up. I have a question. They're trying to extend. Cookie, you in the shop. They're trying to extend the school hours. The school hours. <laughs> exactly. The face, you guys should have seen it. Well, we see who ain't been on the forecast page. Give me that $10, Cookie. <laughs> Let me get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, you suck. I'm sorry. That's a fact. And the thing is, we feel like they only, I, me personally, I feel like they only need four days. Bro, look yeah. at this bitch ass nigga, bro. A lot of yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this bitch ass nigga, bro. I wish the camera could turn on this whole ass. <laughs> this nigga done been away from the table. He done been away from the H2E table more than he ain't been over there. He having a good ass time. Now this nigga walked up, he was gonna walk away. He ain't even dap me up. Like, what up, man? What's going on? Bro, forecast. So how y'all feel about that plan? I, I feel it, but no. What would you? All right, so you feel it. What would the what only would, reason I if feel you, it? If you was her, what would you do? Kind of, I guess, to help. If you was president, bro, what would you do to help <laughs> with childcare costs? It's tough because that shit expensive, thing, bro. It is, and it, the expenses is very high. The cost of food, diapers, wipes, all the stuff that people get for the childcare is a lot. Plus, you got to pay as well. So I get the business part of it, but you have to maintain the business like you yeah, can't keep say, have, business, you can't keep firing people you got to make sure your employees are happy the main reason that everything is down because the employees are not happy and they're not getting treated the best like they don't even have the infrastructure to pull that shit off yeah and it's just and, like and it's, it's clearly a fucking pipe dream like i hate when people do fact. this thing where extending or shortening when there is no plan no to get demographic to, to yeah. say this is going to be successful yeah there's there's no there's nothing and it there are plans to implement but it's like no one has ever taken that time out to do it and and not even and the thing like going back like the idea is great but again what is her plans to keep these people here because that's just the main thing you was a sub you have to sub every day. Yeah. Why do we have to have subs every day? Because teachers quit. Teachers want to take off. When my thing, I don't take off. If if I'm not sick, because to me teaching is probably I'm not gonna say one of the like if everything flows right and you have a good team, teaching is probably one of the dopest, easiest jobs you can have. Um, and that sure. to me that's just a fact. That's how I personally feel. And again, you the administrators have to find a way to keep everybody in. I think the plan could work, but I don't fuck with it. Like, far as extending, no, like you could do everything you want to do in the same hours. Go ahead, just, Greg. I got something after even, you. It's just even the fact, like I said, where, what are you paying people? How are you going to, I guess, make that work in a financial um, aspect? Like, how does that work? Like, a lot of these things is just like, how does they work? Like, even. I've heard people talk about like shortening the work day. Okay, you shortening the work day. Am I gonna still be getting paid? You talking about that or the forty? No, no, or the four days. No, no. I mean, just like in general, anytime you hear like alterations to time limits or yeah. times that we do things. Like if if you say like, hey, let's have a four day work week. How is money being distributed from that? The salary. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel when, when you bringing up these things, like, I'm going to extend the school day and I'm going to add extra things for or extra responsibilities for staff to have to deal with on a daily basis. You have to compensate those people for that. And <laughs> I don't see how that's happening because people don't give a fuck about what teachers are getting paid. They don't. And the parents don't Except either. Teachers. That's the crazy fucking part Facts. of the shit. And my thing too is like y'all want to keep putting all the stress on the teachers bro we need to have some workshops for the parents bro and get them more involved because the thing is school is only a certain amount of hours you have to get the kids to retain everything that they learn at home yeah. and if they not doing shit at home bro they're not going to retain it as good as they can possibly and retain I'm, it i'm still learning how to do that properly with my yeah daughter. it's tough like, you know it's not saying? easy like, that's not that's not even 
that is some type of shit that you need to workshop. You have for. to, you bro. Like they, they, I, it has to be more of a collaborative process uh, between a lot of different parties. And I just, I just don't see it. And I hate, like I said, I hate when people bring these things up because you're obviously trying to get a news clip and you're trying to get people um, talking just, about yeah, you. Yeah, talking about you and get mind share and shit like that. I don't, I Look, don't fuck with it. It's not um, realistic. Y'all say get the parents involved, and it's like uh, out in my nephew district, the principals, the we principals need, and the teachers of each team. of each school, right? <laughs> they hold different meetings for the parents the parents don't come they don't come they hold so they hold so these niggas got coffee with the teachers and principals that they have once a month they have it in the daytime and they have it in after seven in the evening for people who get off work late and parents don't come i went to one coffee with the principal it was me and somebody else there just because it's the new principal of chip so i want to kind of see where this nigga head is at um they don't come to shit it's like yo it's because we being overworked it's like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, all so all that core, oh, into, all so that, that correlates, bleeding into other aspects of life. Facts. Here's one thing she said. She said one point underlying this plan. She says schools operate on hours that plainly are not designed to serve parents or kids. Most start at eight and end around three, which is bad for a nine to five working parent. So at that point, you understand that work hours and things like that don't provide you with the type of work-life balance that's that right. you want to have right. like let's not get started on retail bro I like say, that shit oh. takes on to a whole different level when you're trying to fix something like that because that parent might not leave their job to like 10 or 11 o'clock that's what i'm mm-hmm. saying like my wife has a job where her schedule changes every month so and it's always in the evening like at the earliest she's gonna end her shift at 5 30. So, but then there's other months where she's gotten off at eight or nine. So when you look at how we're being worked and you look at the schedule that they expect us to have our kids on, it's not even like, it's, it's weird to me that, I don't know, all of, all of these hours things, I don't believe in because we're in a capitalistic society, which just begs for us to work so hard to grab the the Bro. smallest bit of and change that, out of you that's the crazy part too because like even with these these plant jobs cars ain't even fucking selling like that so why the no. fuck do these people cars be not to even do? as efficient and they break they down like a motherfucker bro because everybody like no cap i ain't gonna do that but they work in seven days a week they work at 12 hours and shit most plant what? niggas i see don't be doing shit they, I ain't want to say it, but listen, bro. Listen, I'm, and <laughs> they niggas be saying, saying, having a good time. This ain't even going crazy. Hey, <laughs> playing nigga, I know be in that bitch having a good motherfucking time. Party. My nigga okay, the nigga that hold me in the hey. building, bro. A nigga, hey, a nigga have another yeah. baby. This nigga Why? get the tripping. Come sit down, nigga. Yeah. Come sit down. Why? Come sit down, man. Yeah. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga came for me like nigga, like I ain't the fucking turn up king, nigga. That's how this nigga came for me, nigga. That nigga like, said, like, wash like, yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga, nigga talking, nigga Watch talking me. like since my little came, niggas think I'm gonna turn some shit out, nigga. I'll still come out. Watch I'll still Watch turn some shit out. Wash king, triple double. <laughs> Put me in the game, it's a triple Wash double. King. Put me in the game, it's a triple double, nigga. Wash King. This nigga, nigga DA said, you don't even fucking go out no more. <laughs> and he said the F word. <laughs> you don't even fucking you, go you out. You don't tell, you ain't tell me. He don't go. He would have been like, no, nah, I'm not going out tonight. You crazy. Person. Hell no, person. You crazy. He definitely would have said that. You crazy, bro. DA, where my bag at, nigga? Crazy. What's up? What's up? Medium. 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 Right. These niggas, niggas keep... When that, you gonna beat her Wednesday? So let me, yeah. Wednesday, no, he's gotcha. not. No, I'm not. I thought you do. Y'all need, I thought you y'all need do. Me. Me. Just, get, just, get, just give it to me, DA. Uh, let me ask. Right, let man. me ask this before we move to the next topic. So they. Sorry, so boss. all right. So you got. I'm only here for like 20, 30 minutes. I got so look. Second off, what's good? All right. So look, you got. So you got Kamala Harris trying to do that bullshit. In California, they pushing times back for kids to go to school. All right, in order for them to excel, which from what it looks like, it's been working. And then you got students being able to evaluate teachers at the end of the year. If you could pick one thing, if you could pick one thing outside of the things I mentioned to implement into the school structure for kids and parents or either or, what would it be that you would do? What would you do to like just help the overall, I don't know, person that's going through school? 
from like middle school, elementary school, middle school, high school to make them niggas just a better fucking person overall. Like, what would I'm you? I'm gonna let DA think. What would you do? Let me think on that. My so, answer. Go ahead. I feel like um, go after you. We need to ex- we need to get old tech, Voltec, wherever it's called, wherever you at. Yep. Inside the schools. Give um, a gunshot for that. What is oh, okay. That? My yeah. Bad. That's facts. I feel like perfect. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Voltec. <laughs> perfect, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, everybody don't want to go to college, bro, and that's understandable. I feel like yeah, man. us getting some more workshops, some more classes to teach you how to do more hands-on things. Go listen to that first of the career, day, bro. shit. What we was um, telling them girls. I do a lot of that shit on the side at work. You know what I'm saying? I always tell them, like, you know what? Always have you something that you can do when your career don't go right. Yeah. So a lot of the people that I got that go to OTEC, I tell them to push hard because don't nobody talk. Don't nobody influence them or hype them up to do the best they can while they there you know what i'm saying they thinking they just go there just because i'm like listen if you go in there to cook do piping do uh what is it called um H-Rack, you melt the metal uh, fuck welding, welding, welding all that shit. i'm like bro this shit is not going nowhere that shit gonna be here forever yeah, forever. Yeah, forever and i'm like yeah. if y'all really get plumber there, nigga, then yeah. y'all get y'all shit y'all can have your own business by the time y'all 21. you gotta tell these kids that bro because like they That's got they got all that shit they at, have at this nigga shit. at big neff school they got they all got that all he don't want to take wood shop and they yeah. teaching niggas how to make shit like logos make and shit. i said bro shit. you can make you can make a business out of that they teach you how to make right. logos and shit now and, and you're and you're free the equipment's free for you to use you don't have to supply anything why do you think saying like children growing up like outside of the u.s are more when they come here they Nick. make all them they make a fucking killing they make a killing bro. that's a fact because they parents and that's another thing that again it's always gonna go back to the print like parents and shit because these arabs the first thing they doing is they they little kids be they already have a working business, at the so gas station working yeah facts bro the asians they be working at the cleaners like you know what i'm saying these these businesses they work their kids early yep we don't do that shit. We spoil them. We put, we give them the tablets. We give them the games and tell them to play the fucking game and watch this all day because we want to go out and do this the other kids shit. Kids don't even go outside or nothing. And that, I'm, I'm that way. It's just something <laughs> yeah. that we gotta fix. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I start I know, reading. You go. You say. You say. You. I you start take, reading you take, books. Uh, now. You take Maya for walks quite a oh, lot. That's a fact. Yeah. But I'm saying like even when she get older, I don't want to be like here. Go a phone or a tablet. Go crazy. Yeah. You ride past go the park. Nuts. You're not seeing no so kids. Nobody's at the park. Shit, bro. Yeah, you're nuts. not seeing that. A lot of this is societal where we all kind of following uh where technology is leading i feel like technology has to do uh, a lot with all of this shit Uh, Uh, you kind of gotta um i don't know man is this is this your idea (laughs) (laughs) is this your idea for the school (laughs) <laughs> this is my idea. Yeah. Come, 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 break That's the question. original question. Is this your idea for the school? The original question is what would you bring to the school yeah, system? Is this help? idea for the school? No. Take I'm, technology up out of there? No, I'm. <laughs> combo breaker! <laughs> no, I'm asking the question. Don't, if, don't let if, that combo breaker. <laughs> he on some bullshit. I'm asking a serious I'm question. <laughs> don't let, if we're, if don't we're let talking about. If we're talking about. The effects in which the technology has on schools, it's a different conversation. I'm, I'm not saying that's the thing. I'm saying like a lot of what we have to deal with is in embedded with technology. So when you do drive by a park and there's nobody there, it's because we don't have face-to-face interaction or meaningful face-to-face interaction enough throughout just our lives now so a lot of these kids are socially awkward they don't know how to i don't know we building like bubbles around our kids and shit like that crack will put in there you could do a lot of mock elections of mock interviews and things like more face-to-face interactions in the school yeah Yeah, that's what i'm saying like i don't know i don't know what the plan to implement it you know what i'm saying like i can only see like the symptoms of like what's going on so i don't the crazy part about that is me starting this podcast class they speak way different now hey yeah, because you force that's it, what's up, bro. Forcing like, people to so talk crazy, in front bro. of each other like, like that they learn how to matters. switch shit up 
DA, we gave no. you enough time. Yeah, no, no. I, I, <laughs> okay, I think go. that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go, go off with that what you said, Miles. That nigga off his bullshit with that yeah. headband on. No, Mr. I, just, Worldwide. I just found this in the damn car. Like, yeah, it's the damn place. Mr. But, uh, Worldwide. No. <laughs> I feel like, five. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go off with what Miles said. They do need to, we need to incorporate shit that's really going on in the, in the <laughs> world. Nothing, like, me, everybody, you know what I'm saying, went through, everybody went, been through college, right? We all been through college. Yeah. Yeah, somewhat. That shit that's being taught in college, it's Don't not matter. the shit that you really doing in real life. It's just, it's just not from from math. They don't even teach cursive in school no more. They don't, this don't teach shit in school. We just shit started back. We just Y'all just started, started back. back. No so, other school that shit crazy. teaches it, bro. At all. At all. And I told a kid like one day, like, what? What? He said, let's practice on your signature. What? He's like, well, we don't take cursive. What? I'm like, how? Like you supposed to learn that shit in the third grade. Like, yeah, when my nephew when my nephew signed his name in print, I was like, "What are you doing?" He was like, I don't know how to do cursive. I'm like, I swear to God, I ain't never know that. No, yeah. And the thing about it is like, you're going to write signatures on every fucking on thing. Everything. It ain't even got to be nothing cold. My signature trash. My shit trash as fuck. The podcast but, uh, class but, uh, is dope. The, the, the main. That shit is dope as hell. I can't lie. The, the main thing I would, the main things I want to implement. Like once once I get like a real legit classroom and, and can like have something to say, like I definitely want black history taught properly. And more importantly, bro, like I want a life skills class. I want people to know about wealth, credit, buying a house, buying a car. I want niggas to know how these type of things function because honestly, the white kids have had the cheat code to this for a long time. A long time. Your credit score is nothing but a game. It's nothing but a game, bro. You just play around with shit. You get a credit card for this and you spend some money and then pay a little bit. Don't go over this much percentage. You just do different things. Oh, get revolving credits. Build a relationship with banks. Right. Had I known like all these different types of things, I'd have been okay. Yeah. I talked to a white person up at state. While I'm playing, paying 1200 right. rent per month, over in, what, what, what the fuck was in Briarcliff, Briarwood or something? Briarcliff. All right, Briarcliff, twelve hundred a month. Child to the south over there, side. right? <laughs> this white person is sitting on a house that they purchased for forty thousand. They didn't buy it outright. What? They got a mortgage. Right. They mortgage like six fifty to seven hundred a month for that house. That's so, that. so damn near half what I'm paying, and you're also building mortgage history. So when they graduated and wanted to go start a family and shit, they they easily can get a quarter mil mortgage. Look at Spooty, bro. He just so, looks, he just getting on my nerves it. right now. In his jacket, well, bro. Look at it. I'm gonna beat his ass in his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> jacket in his birthday Look shoes. Him, Look at him, bro. Oh, let me get some. He ain't <laughs> asked nobody <laughs> if they wanted nothing to drink. <laughs> Not hospitable. What? Q, we need you back. <laughs> <laughs> we need you back. <laughs> All right. If you're gonna be on the same bullshit, you can't hey, come back. But if you're gonna put the work listen, in, man, come back, you. We got a comment. Um, Kyle said, "Ugly ass Spartan hat, nigga, make me sick as fuck." Damn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were just we were just drinking together and having a conversation about eating ass in your basement yesterday. Oh, <laughs> having a good time. Talking about inside baseball. Having a good time. That's a fact. What's the next? Having a good right? time. Yeah. Wow. Fuck with <laughs> the way the way niggas talk, man. The way niggas talk about you. Your nose like a motherfucking is dog. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Let's get back. Let's get back to sports real quick since we got DA here, right? Okay, let's go. A redditor I'm found out that James Harden plays worse in cities no. where good strip clubs are. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I felt like that was the pettiest oh. study so, I've ever uh, fucking By cross-referencing <laughs> cross -referencing four seasons, nigga, <laughs> worth of data. Ignorant data. Who does with this the data average, With the average review of the strip clubs that appeared. Houston. When they typed in strip clubs, Bro, he, has, one of the best. he has proven statistically... To right. a significant degree that James Harden game performance declines in city with higher strip club rates. <laughs> wow. That's, that's not a fact, how do, bro. How do we play in L.A.? It, it ain't a fact, that's but that nigga showed up with, with, with data. It's that's no nigga. data because, Yo, listen, bro. I, I've stated this before. Houston probably has the top over Miami? three the, strip oh, clubs yeah, over Miami. Facts. You can, you over can Miami for a rich like nigga? They, for no. a rich nigga over Miami? No, I, I said top three though. Houston, it is a top three. 
Man. No, <laughs> Houston top, top three. three. Yeah. Houston top three. But, but, so but, 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 but. L.A. L.A. Shit, I Miami was, was number one. L.A. was two. LA I, feel was like, I, I feel like our shit better than L.A. Boy, I don't know, bro. What a pass. Man, you can make any stats like. I think it's yeah, Tell no. whatever narrative that you Nah, that shit was Nah, dope narrative so Stay, the, out, the, okay, so stay out the strip clubs, bitch And ranking? plus, like This nigga doesn't <laughs> have <laughs> issues like, Stay out the strip clubs, <laughs> bitch Stay in that bitch, bro like, He doesn't have issues Throughout the season See, that's it's my like, thing, bro. It's in the playoffs oh gosh, When this nigga bro. doesn't so That's annoying, when he bro. going To the strip club the most This not. is the most That's when he going To the strip clubs the most Crack this in the data It's in the data This goes back to this shit This goes back to this shit Hey, this goes back to this shit, bro. He go, he go from city to city you look, every. You look dumb ass, bitch. I ain't fucking this is the most time you go up for the show. I'm mad this nigga went back to the. Y'all want to go to James Hart and data about him going to the strip club? Whatever city Tiana is, I'm done, bro. James Harden been fucking niggas up for the past five years now. Yeah, he been balling. Okay, five years, and y'all want to pull some weak ass data up about some strip club shit? Nobody took it serious. It was funny, but still, why though? Well, because he still has than good games. They, they didn't say he had bad. They didn't say he had. Why not? No, they didn't say he was a bad player. Don't I'm get me saying, wrong. Bro. It's funny. He still had like, good stats in Miami. No, <laughs> so, I like, they just saying it went down. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel what you childish. Yeah. <laughs> I get lame. you. Yeah. But they weren't saying that that nigga uh, played bad. fuck out of here. But that's because Miles and Crack going to be at the strip clubs when he pop. We're going to have bad podcasts. Me, uh, live listen, podcast the next day. Me and James Harden will set up at every strip club in the, out the country. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? And we're going to have bad podcasts the next day. I am. I'm gonna have a bad podcast the next day. I have a great podcast. Sure. Crazy. We go to a porn convention. I can get the fuck. I'm gonna have a great podcast everything. there. But right, whatever man. happens through the night, the next day, y'all know what he look like. Gonna have a great one. Uh, Silent Bob with that jacket on. <laughs> you All say this, Silent Bob, <laughs> Yo, hey, bro. What kind of fool? What kind of fool is he? In front of the Seven Eleven right now. <laughs> Crack. You say this nigga now. All right. Yeah. You say this nigga now. Inside baseball. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. Just know, hey, over there, just know, yeah, uh, just, just, yo, know, just right, know. Moving on, <laughs> I got the moving no, on. A three C was a great time. Uh, yo, me and Crack went down there in Atlanta. We had a great time <laughs> rapping, wait, what? And ciphering with people. It was a good time. Get the fuck out of here. Right, what are y'all Atlanta. talking about? It was a good time. Atlanta, Atlanta. Atlanta. good time. Get the time, fuck out of here. Great time. Atlanta. So shout to Clark, rad. Atlanta. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yo, shout to Clark, Atlanta. <laughs> Y'all was down there with Medea. <laughs> it was <a> great. <laughs> we was down there before Medea. All right. That was an right. awesome trip, man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, back that when was Darren a was a, was a friend. Oh, oh my! <laughs> you can do. <laughs> you acting up. Was a good time, man. Yeah. Was a good time. We'll mm. get back down there. Man. Yeah. Right, hey, hey, you know I'm, I'm always ready. I'm <laughs> always ready for a trip, baby. I'm always ready let, for let, a trip. Let me ask that a question real quick before nothing, DA nigga. leave. DA, go ahead. Everybody's loving the fucking shirts, man. So I just want to shout you out for that. Yes, yeah. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Appreciate I love them shirts, bro. These shirts are sitting. So I, 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 I get you on Wednesday. Look, I'm giving it to Miles on Wednesday. Hey, this nigga thought this was I'm his. I'm going to keep it. This right. nigga thought this bitch was his. I showed him. I said the idol bag came in. You wear a medium? I got one in the car. I'm going to go. Grab it. Ooh, oh shit! All right, all right, all right. Oh, grab That's it. my nigga. All so right. where I where did you. where did you come up with it? Like where did the logo come from? Was you watching right. Pirates of the Caribbean? Like no, no, no. Nah. <laughs> so I was uh, I actually just was sitting at the crib because uh, I was just looking at the just dr- trying to draw different shit for real. So um, I had this concept in mind of uh, like lit, like L I T, like um, like life is timeless. And I was I was drawing a light bulb or trying to draw you know what I'm saying, draw a character for that to represent, you know well I don't mm-hmm. know, that word. And if you really if you look closely at the shit, it looks it like, like a light, a light bulb. bulb, I see it. But the mouth was different though. It was pause. like Oh pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> the mouth that uh, that I had drew was uh, it was different. It was like kinda like uh, like abstract and it had abstract eyes at first. But I felt like shit. That shit was doing too much. So I uh, I had I had gotten in touch with uh, my cousin uh, K Rods. Tattoos by K Rods. Make sure y'all follow him on the ground. Traveling tattoo artist. And um, I had him like draw out some stuff and just give me a whole bunch of different samples. And uh, he kind of just saw my vision of what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Simple, simplizing it for me. And uh, shit, that's how it really happened. And then like it was everything without the teardrop. 
But when I got it back, I was like, damn, something's still missing. So I just added a teardrop on there. And the shit just, I just felt like that was that was it. Hey, like, look, bro, you, you have awesome ideas. Yeah. Um, I salute you, too, I'm, for, I'm like, including. I'm working on a fire-ass print, too. I'm really on some, like, some I, I, MCM bait type type print i salute you yeah. for like including us in the process too like you know you 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 reach out and be yeah. like hey what do you think about this type of shit like what if i did this what if i did that because yeah. when you were saying like i'll name this clothing line later um i remember bringing it up to crack like yo he got this idea of, like saying i'm naming it later i'm like i ain't never seen no shit like that that shit dope yeah. So I appreciate you reaching out like to your peers and shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit mean a lot when, right. when a nigga hits you up about his shit. You know what I'm saying? That that shit mean a lot. I mean, I so trust, like I, I, pre I appreciate it. Cause uh, no, yeah, this shit me. fire, nigga. Like I've been waiting to I've been waiting to bring it out. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, you know, we we support a hundred. I appreciate it. We on that. that shit. We on that shit heavy. We fuck with it. Let me it. go grab this nigga crack shirt, man. Yeah. 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 Right My back. dog. Yeah, sick we gotta do so much. <laughs> nigga had to get cussed out just to be able to no, go out with you. No. I actually <laughs> you forgot, fucking look, go out. Look, if you fucking story, go out, hey, true story you last night. Weekend after the next bitch. Right? What happened? Mike you know, fucked it up. They just, Mike fucked it up. I was on my way. They as fuck on the dress code. That's why I'm Damn, you so was? The hoodie that I had on. You know what I'm saying? They Amir, Amir was fucking the so entire had, night uh, up, nigga. I had the hoodie that I had on last night. I got the, the same shirt to match it because I thought they was going to turn my ass around because I had the hoodie on. Because he was like, you can't wear hoodies in that bitch. I know you can't wear joggers in there. You can't no, wear joggers in there. You can't, no you can't wear shit in there. So, but they be on some bullshit I hate in there. Oh, yeah. Me and X got turned away from that bitch. X was crispy, too. In the pink, in the pink jogging well, suit, couldn't get in. That shit was some the bullshit. What's the problem with the um, dress code? Like, do people like what's wrong? When they take pictures, they just want shit looking a certain way, and they That's trying to keep, it and they trying to keep wow. a certain, certain crowd out. That's, That's crazy, all. bro. So it's not to say that they feel like X pulling up in a pink jogging suit that he would cause trouble. But he might fuck up the LGBT. But no, but your typical, but your community. typical nigga who like driving from Detroit, that's like, <laughs> shit, let's hit this bitch, and he just in the Adidas <laughs> jogging suit might cause trouble. I mean, all I'm gonna do, I'm just ready to break dance. <laughs> the thing about it, it's like, <laughs> it, it's like if, if we get if we get off on that, so. I'm never understood. Of course, nigga. of course. Like when I was when I was working at Verizon, Man, Silent Bob, bro. I'm sorry. When bro. I was this working, is, this is, this is, yo, combo breaker. Nigga pissing me oh, off right bro. now, bro. <laughs> I think it's got a Charisma tools on. This nigga, combo breaker. Nigga, he 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 ain't been he ain't been over there <laughs> at all. <laughs> This boy's a motherfucking oh dummy. Shouts to the jumpsuits he's selling, though. Y'all keep buying them, ladies. Y'all look nice. I, I, in them. I fuck with the hoodie joints too, though. The hoodie dresses. Yeah. I'm on this shit. I'm on this shit, though. <laughs> I'm on this shit. Come on, come on, come on, no, the H2E shit up. I'm on this. Yeah, the I'm on this. shit. Yeah, my idol, my idol shirt has not faded at all. I just found my shit somewhere Duh. random as fuck, has and that bitch faded. still. <laughs> Jeez, dog. I don't watch that shit so many times. That's a fact. Look, uh, what's the next? One? Oh, which what the fuck was he talking about? Oh, the dress code shit, right? So, I don't know why clubs do this. So, of course, when I was working at Verizon, like Wednesday nights, at, like, yeah, fuck them. Wednesday nights, at Wednesday nights, nigga, like niggas hit Royal Low go to Luna because like liquor was free. It was black people in there that's playing hip hop, pool, all that shit. I never got into an altercation at Luna while it was free liquor and hip hop playing. All that shit happened when the free liquor stopped, <laughs> the hip hop stopped playing. <laughs> then magically, you know, the shit damn near every other week, you you could be expecting us. You know what I'm saying? You be expecting us to be a hey, shot DA man coming through with the show your shirt, man. Show your shirt off, man. Show your shirt to the camera, man. So you shirt to the camera. That's, that's right. That's respect, man. He didn't even want to. He didn't even want to show his forecast shirt to the camera when he had uh when he had bought it in. The forecast pod, horseman, right, horseman joint. He, he didn't want to show that. He, he showed. The, he showed that, man. We'll name this clothing line later, baby. What the? Dion Drive safe, Sanders, nigga. Sanders, Scotty right, Pippen earring game. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this nigga said the Scotty Pippen. <laughs> so. I don't understand. I don't understand what the issue is because Orchid, Orchid and Ferndale stopped playing hip hop. And Miles, I can't remember if he was with us that night, but I want to assume 
No? Never. Okay, well, it was me, Kyle. This person I won't name. Yeah, he was there and somebody else, and we got into a fight with some niggas on the stage. And it wasn't even too hip hop. What the fuck? When did this happen? Hold on, was I there? If you was there when it was a light skinned nigga on the stage, and I had got off the stage and pulled his legs and his head hit the stage, and we got the. Got oh, the hell brawling no, in that bitch. I All right. <laughs> yeah, I will remember that shit. <laughs> like, I sure, that shit sound like this shit was eight miles. <laughs> you did the eight mile to this nigga? Bro. <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey. You did the Papa Doc. No, that was lot. Who was that? Listen, bro. Was that Lotto? Listen. Listen, it was it was some niggas. It was some niggas that we always see at Luna and Orchid all the time. Yeah. They don't see him because I mean Kyle and them don't go. They was just there. They was just there because I'm like, yo, shoot through this spot with me tonight and shit. They don't go to like Ferndale or right? look. So we there. They not even playing hip hop at the time. They playing some top forty shit. Canard dancing with a chick. She's with a she's with a group of she with a group of niggas. So they looking all crazy. Of course, Kyle don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck these niggas looking all crazy for and shit. So we end up getting into it with them niggas on the stage. So I like jumped off the stage and like what? moving, moving like this whole sea of people back, what? moving this whole sea of people back because we about to fight. What? And this light skinned nigga came to the tip of the stage, what? like he was about to jump down, but what? I didn't let him jump down. I just pulled this nigga legs, that nigga head just hit the stage, just got the beating. We just got the beat in his ass. And then, like, I the next couple weeks, next that. couple weeks, I came to Orchid. They, like, we don't play hip-hop no more. And it's like, we didn't, even, we didn't even beat no ass off no hip-hop. I, I mean, nigga. I don't care what you. music is playing or what dress code it is. If it's disrespect it's and about, niggas want to fight, that's what's going to happen. It's about... It don't matter, uh, like, it don't matter what you play. We playing Britney Spears. If a nigga got his ass beat, he got to get his ass beat. You don't want niggers in the establishment. That's that's what it comes down right. to. Like, got and, banned and from Luna. Who dre cares? Dress codes and all that shit, that's just ways to design. Finn got, a, Finn got us banned from Luna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I still got that on tape somewhere. Everywhere. I still got Everybody. that on tape somewhere. Everybody. Infinity Vision 8. <laughs> Still right. got that on. Still got that on tape. Man. And his name is John C. <laughs> 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 dog, <laughs> uh, dog, dog was on, dog was on some bullshit because Finn, <laughs> Finn was Finn was coming out, and you know he don't always come out. So when he coming out, it's like I'm, I'm coming out to have a good time yeah. with my nigga. Come out. He pulled his pants up across the street to where they needed to be. What? The security guard was like, "We're not letting you in." And he like, why nigga, my pants is up where they need to be before I got here. I was just pulling them up across the street. So we start getting into it with these niggas. The the manager comes out. So I'm tape. I'm I'm on some taping this shit for like you know some racial discrimination yeah. shit. Yeah. But that quickly went left because when I went inside, the manager like snatched my phone out my hand. So then we just started like fighting security. In the in, inside Luna, then it transferred outside, and then we got. I tried to come back next week, and they was like, "Hey, hey, hey!" <laughs> <laughs> we got a. They said you can't. Criminal activity. <laughs> and he name said, is John C. <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga said, "You definitely can't come in." I'm like, I didn't even hit you. He said, "Yeah, but your friend with the dreads did." He the dick. <laughs> Oh, y'all niggas fuck that. Dead. Dead. that nigga point <laughs> your friends with the, put your friends with the dreads did yo fuck luna like damn nigga fuck orchid mm -hmm. yeah it's a well orchid, uh, orchid cool though yeah. they cool they cool all right luna luna's not orchid cool Redacted. man. Redacted. orchid cool man but yeah these dress codes ain't gonna stop niggas from getting their ass beat Shout out to orchid. let's move along all right man we all got daughters man <laughs> <laughs> We all got daughters here. <laughs> where, where the all fuck right. is we going with this? We all got daughters, uh, man. Where, where, where was he going with? In an episode of Ladies Like Us podcast mm. that debuted last week, <laughs> Clifford T.I.P. Harris said You're a loser. that he takes a yearly trip to the Guiding Colleges with his 18-year-old daughter. He said, not only have we had the conversation about sex, but we have a yearly trip. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you in the shot? Oh, you in the shit. shot, but it's all good. Oh, we in this motherfucker. We fuck with you with you in the shot. What's up, man? You all right? 
You are here. So. How you doing? So. All right, go do your round. <laughs> All right, so. He said, not oh, only have we had the conversation you. about sex, <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her hymen. I let them know uh, that she doesn't ride horses, huh? she doesn't ride bikes, and she hasn't done any strenuous activity to that area. So let me know what's Gone. up. This is quoted. Gone. <clears throat> now. Gone. I've seen half and half, man. I see niggas that agree with them. I have, and too. I see niggas that don't. I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> I will start. I absolutely do not agree with you. That shit is very weird to me. Um, I'm not going to the gynecologist with my daughter. Do, it. do I want to know if my daughter is having sex? What? Yes, but I will leave that to her and her mother. <laughs> To make sure the proper steps are taken. If she's doing it, she's doing it. I can't. If, if if she if she comes if she comes to like Nisha is like, my has sex. Okay, the sex is already had. She's having sex now. At this point, she's having sex now. And you can't do. I shit only hope. But lock her up. I only hope. <laughs> there is literally nothing you can do. I only hope I that her. you know, and I know for a fact that Nisha will instill the proper tools in her to make sure that she's protecting herself and not bring any fucking children into my household. Now, I'm not going and standing at the gynecologist because I'm scared. For me, for me, kids have sex. That's just where I'm at with it. I know what the fuck I was doing. Big Neff's in sicko mode right now. This nigga's having sex in dressing rooms at Parks Creek. Big Neff on another level. <laughs> Big Neff is having sex at the library and dressing rooms in Parks Creek. All right, so... With wholesome, with wholesome young women who seem to be awesome, so I don't know. Are they? Give they seem to be. Piggyback but, rides. <laughs> but, Horse riding. But look, man, like kids have sex. I can only so I just know that I just know that he's sexually active. I know that he knows what to do. What? I know that he know what to do. What? That's all I know. He don't have a place to go. That's stupid. What? Where where he's having it? But I know that he has condoms on. What? He's protecting himself. He good to go. I can't stop this nigga. What I'm gonna lock him in the fucking room? He still so that's later on. That's just gonna turn him into a super whore. Gone. Yeah, bro. It's it's. it's I've really, been to state. I've been to state with the lockdown chicks. Really Gone. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say the lockdown chicks. The lockdown the chicks. chicks that you, <laughs> trying to get. In. Right. Hey, hey man. Right. Look. <laughs> look. There's some things you can do. Damn, son. Uh, Where'd you find this? I'm just saying, man. Look. Me and Tabor had a Middle Eastern and lockdown. <laughs> shit. My God. Yeah, that's a story for Angelique's hey, lips yeah. lip service. Yeah, now look. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And and I I feel like um the problem <laughs> the problem is I feel like people are drawing different things out of like what he said. What? And it's because me and my wife, um, we not even talking about this shit because she's looking at it from like a perspective of um, it's a, a, a father trying to be in their daughter's life, lives, life, um, lives, li lives, <laughs> daughter life. Yeah. Yeah. Like eh. she's looking at it from that perspective. Nah, fam. And I listen to the Breakfast Club. I listen, um, and yeah, proper. This is a very proper drop. I listen to them basically defend T.I. I mean, Angela Yee was on the side of, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck out of some here. weird shit. Angela but, Yee with the deep pussy. <laughs> <laughs> deep Y'all pussy, Angela. Angela. Bang, bang. Yeah, shouts to deep yeah. pussy. Asian pussy Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but I'm saying like, all right. Duh. <laughs> I'm tired of niggas setting this bar so low for like black fatherhood where it's like, yeah. well, you know, it's so many niggas that ain't even around. So if this nigga want to go to the gynecologist with no nigga, Games. like, let's. <laughs> Yeah. No. This nigga is in this bitch waiting in the corner with his arms folded like that. <laughs> yeah. Is that Hyman? Chest that Hyman? 
I need check the hammer, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What are we talking about? That don't sound weird to niggas. Like, I ain't never why seen we behave in this man? What is he gonna do if she got fucked? Yo, like I'm. Still <laughs> criminal activity. And then criminal when activity. when you going with it's a misnomer that you can break that sex is the only thing that can break the hymen. So we already going with that misnomer. Horse rider. He we ain't doing no bike. horse riding. He, he probably called no horse, horse riding, riding some type of big word, she too. She never <laughs> rode a bike, bro. She no, she ain't doing no... Uh, what they call it? <laughs> <laughs> what if she tricked your ass? <laughs> what Yo, niggas have been getting off with the, like, what if she just sucking dick and doing anal? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. What, what's what's uh, Aurora Jolie? Is that her name? Big whoop. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey yeah. Yo, shots. <laughs> Good shot, nigga. Hey, Aurora don't leave, nigga. Was a virgin porn star who was a virgin, a vaginal virgin. All right. I'm just saying. A vaginal virgin. She only did ain't no scenes. She was saving was her hook. pussy for her dick. Yeah, that was the hook. It was like yo, she's a virgin by the vagina, <laughs> but she'll take it in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> And she used to get her pussy ate too, so. Where's she at? See, now? this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to go this deep into she this shit, now, bro. Man. I'm not trying to figure out, like, okay, look. It's a scene <laughs> with her and uh, Lisa Tyler. That's a motherfucker, boy. Yeah, I know. Y'all go check. <laughs> Y'all go check that out. Yo. Yo, listen, listen. Y'all go check that out, man. But no, I'm saying because once we, like, I feel like you should have open dialogue with your kids about sex okay i don't need to know exactly what it is that you doing these certain things you know what i'm saying from my son i need to know my daughter i don't want to know no, I'm not leave that to, to your mom it, but my son I, like, I feel like i need to know because so much shit is going on like young black oh, yeah, males yeah, yeah, yeah. if some shit happened i need to i need to know like the story from you on what yeah, happened yeah, so it's like no no no, no he ain't no, tell yeah, me yeah, that yeah, my yeah. daughter i don't want to hear like well no, dad no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I get Let that. me tell you. I'm just saying, like, as far as. <laughs> I tell you, went to Jimmy's party and I'm downstairs. Like, like, whoa. I don't, yeah, I don't need to know what you like doing. <laughs> like, went to Jimmy's party, I'm yeah. sucking cock. Jimmy, <laughs> what? Yeah, like, what? No. Oh, that's not, my. It's not what I'm trying to hear. What? <laughs> I just finished uh, watching Monday Night Raw. What the fuck is you talking and about? And having Monday Night Raw. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look, <laughs> I just, I, I feel like, um, we're talking about two separate things and that's why i was saying like with my wife like i was like i ain't even trying to get in an argument with it with her about that because i feel like um women do women want their fathers in their lives women need their fathers in their lives um how people go about doing that and that was, that was like where i started from it because if that is some shit that you want like fine like wow but why you putting all that shit out there you know what i'm saying it's your daughter like your, your, your daughter's not like uh, a public figure like that i know she's i think it's the one she's trying to do music or whatever but you know what i'm saying like you can have a little bit more tech when releasing this type of detail it just be like on some shit like yeah me and my my daughter had a conversation we do this or whatever i'm just, just sick i don't think it's weird and, and here's the thing too right. like it's nothing wrong with just being like yo that's some weird shit like i think we all got our like weird shit what's but, your weird shit uh, yeah let's get into it what's your weird shit yeah on. What's your what's your weird shit? Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uncensored right now, nigga. Go crazy. What is it? What's your weird shit? What's good? Turn that turn that iPhone around. I mean, you know, y'all niggas was already on my head because I was telling y'all I was muting porn and shit. So that's some weird shit. That is weird. Yeah, I was. I was we a podcast. What's up? Yeah, right? we good. Put the glasses on. I see you. So, okay. want have it? Want, want to talk? Want to talk to us? Oh, okay. Oh shit. Sit right, right next right. to Mr. Cool. <laughs> Sit right, right next to Mr. Cool. Now. Yeah, yeah. We in the building. How you doing? What's up? What's up? 
All right, you came just in time, man. We are, uh, we, we are discussing the Hyman King, T.I. <laughs> uh, we just want to know how you... How do you uh, feel? How you King. feel about it? How you feel about it? Uh, we all have daughters here. Um, none of us want to go to the uh, gynecologist with her, you so know. we want to know. We want to. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay, good. I think okay. our mother, her mother, can handle it. That's yeah, a fact. Her fact. Mother, I'm assuming that y'all baby's not really like in elementary school. N- no, no, but okay. I don't. I still don't want to go to the gynecologist with her. Her okay, mother can go. Uh, listen, uh, my, my daughter's 11 years old, so she's in. She's oh. in the ring. She's in the ring. Okay. For me, for me, for me, her and her mom can go. Whatever needs to be, whatever I need to be informed of, mm-hmm. uh, I trust her mother enough to inform me of it. Okay. Uh, and I trust her enough. Like if she is having sex, I trust her enough to make sure that she's having safe sex. Okay. Uh, and, and you know, doing everything but right. But I don't need to. I don't need to go and, and be sitting there like, so that motherfucker busted, huh? <laughs> like I don't need this to be there. This nigga said that. he put a post-it note on her door. That shit is weird. I don't. I don't need to go. I don't need to go. And. I don't need her to go to a physical when you know when when he's sitting there when he's sitting there like yeah hold your nuts and cough like I don't need her sitting in the room while that's going on. Yeah, I ain't look look. That's weird. I ain't trying to sign. Cause you know you know my pops wasn't around. My mom did not go into the physical room with me like hey. I'm not. I'm not trying. I gotta watch him holding your nuts and coughing. Good. Do any of you have a son? Yeah. You got sons too. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna actually. Go through that with your son versus your daughter. Y'all got balance because the, the mother is active in their lives and all yep. that. But as a man, what kind of what kind of gentleman do you expect your daughter to even be attracted to or communicate with <laughs> to get to that point? Because I think that's what Ti is just trying to say. Like, yo, he just mm. honestly can we say this is this go is ahead. Where, yeah, you yeah. can go. Go, go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. I honestly feel like he's checking. Because he don't want his daughter to ever run into a nigga like him. See, this is where women keep going. But why you can't? Why you can't? Why you can't teach her that without going to the uh, to the guy in the colleges? I mean, it's extra. He's he's an entertainer. His daughter is beautiful. Beautiful. So as a father figure, you come from a lifestyle of being a fuck nigga. And then, Damn. I'm sorry. I love hey, gun shot. No, you can cuss. <laughs> gun shot. You can cuss all you want. Yeah. 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 But he definitely come from a lifestyle of being a fuck nigga, and okay. then uh, and then you have a whole human that you birth. That's <laughs> you definitely gonna be on top of that. Well, well, she, what does she do? Can, can I ask a question? Yikes! That's, that's and giving head. Said, yikes! What does she do? She could just be I'm giving she head. Could. She yeah. Could. Who knows what sis is doing? You know what I'm saying? Can Did I you bring us some? Can I ask you a question though? Yeah. Oh, why are you over here? We are right here. <laughs> So what? Why did he have to publicize that? Uh, I think that was a conversation going wrong. It was on a podcast that I don't think Thank that you. he threw. Okay. Thank I don't you. think he knew that it was going to get as much exposure mm-hmm. as it got. Um, that's crazy that he didn't know that. You know, yeah, that's because, what I'm saying. No, no, no. The ladies that that podcast. Let, now listen to me. I love podcasts. I'm podcasting. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank um, you. And shout out to Angela Yee and the lift service who's going to be here. That's Whoopsie. one of my favorite podcasts. You going to that tonight? I'm, I'm yeah. it's tonight. I wish I was. Yeah, it's tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. tonight. We ain't got, oh. Yeah, we had this. Yeah. We ain't having on the schedule. We ain't right. having on the schedule. Double booking and all dope. that. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Like as a father, as a, a, a gentleman, like he just trying to trying to make sure he don't yeah. duplicate. I get that. But, okay, yeah. You know? I, I feel like all right. I think he could teach that without people that. People ain't though, really. Man. I feel like people not really uh, acknowledging that whole mental part too. I feel like uh, some of that comes from. Him, yeah, he's paranoid. But he's <laughs> even listen to like where he says he actually schedules the appointment. He's like after the party, I put the. So you already feel a level of paranoia oh, around. Yeah. Him, period. You know, so, like I mean, you know when they say God gives a man a daughter. <laughs> Why? Like. I mean, according hey, to them, hey. it's something you did in your past. I, uh, I mean, that's what they say. I determined that that was a lie. Uh, I had the son first. Okay, okay, you live. You know yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That's a fact. That's a, that's a whole lie. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What's on your computer right now? Get this shit off. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> Pull shit off. I'm just saying. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, all right. But bottom line, y'all not going here. to that point, but y'all not having that conversation about the birds and the bees with your baby girl? Oh no, I'm gonna have for it. Sure. I just yeah. don't want to go to the gynecologist. Yeah. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have the real yeah. nigga talk. You know Ti. You know Ti yeah. in the corner with his shades on. Think like, think of Ti in the corner yeah. with like Miles' glasses yeah. on, just like. I don't think he's so sitting right before you do sip his like this. Step into in his like individuals. Uh, women who living <laughs> residence. These memes been hilarious, bro. The Ti face in front of like the little asshole with like. Yeah. With the, it just look like a. Oh, <laughs> that shit's silly, man. The oh, memes have been funny. I'm like, sorry, but um, you didn't introduce yourself. I'm sorry, guys. What's up? Let's it's go. You came over so cool. Do your thing. Do your thing. Get your shit off. Get your shit off. Kenyatta Rashawn. What's up? What's up? What's up? Follow me on Instagram at Kenyatta Rashawn. I just dropped a new single called All Gone. Check oh, it out. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold the motherfucking phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What we doing, man? We rapping. We singing. We doing gospel. Jesus is king. What's going on? Album is fire. Sorry, I sang with Kanye West in the samples. Are you good? Uh, that long ago. You Don't know, apologize for that. Don't apologize that. for but that. Yes, yes, I'm a singer. You sing. <laughs> Please, you can you. Hit hit something. Hit a note. Something. Just hit something for no, us. Let's see, let's see. Be careful, no, please. Record. I don't know how to react to something. Ooh. Oh, um, let me see. The moment I think that Talk to slaps. Talk, talk to him. Talk to him. Fucking up. Talk to him. Fucking up. Hey man, I fucking love singers, though. That I like. I like that shit. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all gotta follow me. I'm to. No, I will. Get your. Go ahead. Go ahead and do your. Do your. Do your thing. Get your shit off. Where can we follow you? All that. All that. R-A-S-H-O-N. I'm on IG, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube. I'm wherever you need me to be. <laughs> get, the <fuck> <laughs> get the fuck on, man. It is the game, man. He a host. He ain't been over here all day. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, this your shit now. Yeah. This is your if you chair. want this, if you want this <laughs> spot right now, yeah, it's yours. Yeah, it's you funny because I've been on this like um, yeah. promo Uh-oh. campaign, and I've been actually uh, having different interviews with podcasts and DJs and stuff. Yeah, so, you want to yeah, come I'm chop for up. like a regular real episode? Oh, we out in Southfield. Okay. Shout out to Perfect Body Med Spa. That's what we're here with for uh, right now at the Culture Shop uh, networking event. Okay. Uh, yeah, come come we through. We set uh, that up. Yeah, we'll set that up ASAP. We'll set that, that up ASAP. So y'all still not going to the gynecologist? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no but y'all having the birds and no, the bees talking to No, if she asked. Oh, that's a fact. We gonna. Yeah, have I mean, we gonna have asks, yeah. open dialogue. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm I think that's important. How those to have. conversations will go because it's mine was be it's interesting as fuck, but. I actually you know, I somebody nobody. snitched on me, but oh. after somebody snitched on me, I just start talking. I'm like, yo, oh. I'm about to go do this. Uh, That's how you talk to me, a parent? My uncle, yeah. Yikes. I let my mom think I was a virgin until. <laughs> she Everybody found, can't come she up found, here. She found out at my open house. I talked to my granny about this shit. Okay. So my I, grandma I, so was I made sure. I made sure. I, I always, like, like I tell my nephew, I always tell him, like, make sure somebody knows everything that's kind of going on. That was my granny for me. Right, um, that's good. That's good. So, like, when I got out of eighth grade, I thought, I thought, I'm like, hey, nigga, you got to have sex when you go to high school. And oh, my God. That's just what it is. So I had to make sure, I had to make sure I got off, like, that <laughs> summer. <laughs> this nigga said. Before I had to make I sure. To I think so I was I worse than my granny. I talked to my you granny said. about it. I was worse than that. You was. Yeah, my shit was We had the combo. You was first, you, you was before, you was before. I was you early. You was before. I was 14. I was 14, so. You was 13? I was 12. Yeah, so so, so, for, so for us, it's like... Okay, I was 12. No, I was 16, so for us, it's bro. like... He was 22. I was, I was 16. So for us, it's like... <laughs> it was 1985, huh? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga... We ain't had rubbers back then. Gotta get this shit off the I had shit. to, uh... Yeah, I had to, I had to talk to somebody about the shit. Make yeah. sure, you know... Make sure I knew what I, I was doing. Around, sure I, was I was around right a lot there. of older people, though. I still got off before y'all, niggas. And that just kind of happened. Damn, you was 10? Who? 
nigga crack. My Had sex with the babysitter. No, and, and, and time. no I ain't come to play time. with niggas. <laughs> you probably the first person, the first female no, I know that actually just said that like. I have no shame in it because it was That's exposed. It was like, oh, oh, shit. Ain't no Whoa. shame, bro. Kids yeah. have sex. What you mean by it was exposed? Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you this shit. This shit's yeah, so funny ahead. to me because at 13, I'm a twin, right? Okay. I have a twin brother. <laughs> Todd. So this whole thing, he I here? understand. He's not here. No, but um, at 13, when I was um, hanging out over, I think one of them weekends, Memorial Day or Labor Day, I ended up running into one of the guys that I had a crush on. We ended up doing it. Now we go back to school, and one of the homegirls who was hating on me wrote a note to another homegirl and dropped the bitch on purpose, and it said some shit like, Kenyatta's pregnant. <laughs> the teacher takes it to the social worker oh of the school. God. The social oh, worker contacted my mom. Oh. My mom oh, my came you. to the school and picked me up, wanting to, you know what I'm saying, rationalize what's going on. You're having sex. What the fuck? I'm yeah. in the eighth grade. That turned into an intervention, including him, his dad, me, yeah. my mom, and my dad. That was like the first time going wrong, and I think I didn't bust it open for another two years after that. <laughs> I was man. scarred. I was uncomfortable. No, that was. Yeah, that's, that's trash. Hey, man. Yeah. It's happening early and early. I got sixth People graders having sex right now. Oh, that's yeah. a fact. Yikes. People don't yeah. be yeah. thinking about the oh, mental, yeah. the oh, mental yeah. things that come with sex. Period. Second graders watching porn. I feel like yeah. once you bust it open, like, well, you, yeah. you, you, you you are now in an adult lane. Like, yeah, you can't put the toothpaste back girl. in the tube, baby. Yeah, so. It's, it's, it's <laughs> 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 you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. <laughs> it's out there now. You can't do it. Hey, this nigga just came with some shit. You can't put the tube. I'm about to go home and tell Amir that she can't put the toothpaste back in the group? tube, nigga. <laughs> They've been dancing the whole time. Yes, they have been. Duh. They been getting up. They're dancing. That's the Indy Animals. <laughs> <laughs> they some Indy animals, nigga. Indy Yeah, that's the <laughs> Indy animal. He an Indy animal. Yeah, that's dumb. That's dumb. What's, what's the next topic, bro? Uh, oh, we got a lot. So you gonna stay here? You gonna kick it with us? Yeah, let me get my next topic. kick it with us. Put it up. All right. So none of us will go to the guy in college with our daughters, but you think it's okay? No, I said I would I if I get the invite. Idea. Who's yeah, gonna I'm invite here. you? If she asked no, me. No, I'll say this yeah, though: the transparency no between shit. a girl and her father. Hey, I'm picturing this nigga as a baby right now with them fat cheeks. Like, <laughs> that. <laughs> <It's stupid ass. laughs> come to the. <laughs> <laughs> like, come to the guy in the college. Like, what? <laughs> Those relationships with the father and daughter relationships. That shit is real. It's yeah, it's that's real. perfect. It's real. And if she does invite you into that side of her life, yeah, I'm not like, gonna force it. Allow it. Just, just you know, you know, move at a grace. Because eventually you gonna be the daddy at the prime with the shotgun. Don't touch my daughter tonight. I ain't you doing that locked shit, and loaded. I ain't yeah. doing that right. shit. Right. No. I ain't Look, doing that shit, hey, bro. I'll, that shit will I'll always make a man uncomfortable. If a nigga do that shit to my son, bro, come on, bro. You already know how we gonna do it. If a nigga does that, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Don't bring it. I'm yeah. not gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If DJ come to I'm me not like, yo, the strap came out. Yeah. No. Hey, we now, over my, now, yeah, now we I'm over back there. on my old shit. I'm going, back. I'm going back to my 20s. We nigga. over like, there, bro. That's crazy. The only yeah, reason I say that is because I went through that shit. And it's like. Ooh. But that I shit is. Nah, we ain't gonna talk about it. That shit whack. Though. That's what I'm saying. That comes off the paranoia that niggas have about the shit that they did. Like, I that don't have nothing to do with my son. They ain't got nothing to do with. I had a nigga, bro. Then you were uh, yeah, What's my mom's my mom's got the tripping nigga. I had a nigga. Uh, I was taking I was taking it was I was sixteen, I'm was taking a chick out bro? taking a chick out for a day. Was that what what's going on? What's going on? That's 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 not a iguana, frog, bro. bro. <laughs> she had a iguana on the table. It. I couldn't see it. I just seen a lizard, nigga. <laughs> that nigga said a fucking frog. No. I'm getting extra technical and shit take. like iguana. It's an iguana. She just put it out on the table? No, she got it on her. Oh, yeah, okay. She just walking around. Oh, she on that old school shit. Shout out to Ren and Stimpy. She on that old school shit. Niggas just be having like iguanas on them. Yeah, niggas just had iguanas on them and shit. Yeah, she on that old school shit. Bell out, niggas used to have snakes around their neck, iguanas on them. Yeah. That was my first pet, actually. Yeah, I remember the days. I had a crocodile and everything. Around with a reptile. Yo, you gonna say what happened to you? Or no? Hell no. Look, All bro. I'm going to say is a nigga approached me a certain way and that shit ain't end good. It could have end worse, but it was just like, everybody got, my thing, listen, fathers, everybody has guns. That's, that's a fact. Bro, that's a, that's fact. a fact. Listen. Like, stop. Use the bitch if you go pull it. You I was yeah. taking, yeah, yeah, I was taking a girl out on a date. I'm 16. You know, we go in because I go in and introduce myself and all that shit. 
her dad came to the table and like threw some bullets, like some hollow tips across the table. He threw like five hollow tips across the table. Get the fuck out of here. Corn shit. So I already know, I already know, I already know like how wow. my mom react. My uncle not in jail right now. It's one of those things. So I'm like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, what's that? What's that about? So we like, just make sure I'm like my daughter back on time. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't you think she wouldn't be back on time? Why you think you got to do all that? First off, so then he like, that bitch. So then he like, he like, just make sure she back on time. So while I got in trouble, I got in trouble for this shit. Don't your daughter, nigga. No, look, I got in trouble for this shit. Niggas got to stop with this shit, bro. You just met me, nigga. Listen. Listen. Yeah, your daughter. Yeah, I, don't, I can't remember how the daughter was. But look, I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. So I knew I was gonna get in trouble for this shit. Like I got it, like moms was pissed. I'm like, I got I got something better. Pull the nine out and put that bitch on the table. At 16? 16. My mom don't know I got a gun at this, at this point. But I'm like, fuck this. I didn't think it, like I'm like, yo. This nigga pulled this bullets on I me. Came here yeah. <laughs> so this nigga like what? He tripping. He like call. You ain't going nowhere. Call your mom. So I call my mom. She come over there. She come over there with my uncle. My uncle tripping. Oh, like, you know you him. put. You made it oh, up no, on him. Okay. Like you tripping, pulling like that. Da, da, da. So like you said, it could have got kid. worse. Yeah, it yeah. could have got worse, but it didn't. But when I got after after all that, when I got in that car. Yeah. My mom's just tripping off I'm me, dead. like putting a gun on the table. Like, what the what fuck, tip is you on? First That's off, what you doing with a gun? This Next, what are you putting it on the table? Shit. Hey, I'm like, <laughs> hey, I'm like, I'll do 16, I'll do you one better, nigga. My shit right here, loaded. Him up. Think you he the, the nigga that fucked him up for life. He probably ain't never did that, that shit again. That was, nah, but that don't do that. I'm ne I would never do that to somebody kid. Like, let me throw some bullets. That was the, the difference on me because I had to say my daughter home. I, I ain't do it though. Like, I, you know how I am. I just felt like he's just talking and shit. Yeah. yeah. And I, if I would have felt a certain way, I would have did it. But the thing was like, you don't never know a person. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, just like I was. I was just trying to be well, tough. I was All 16 too when it happened. <laughs> I was just nigga, trying to be tough. Nigga. And it's like I could have yeah. made That's one all phone was call that could have destroyed everything. Yeah. yeah. That nigga family Niggas don't know that. I could have been in the crib yeah. eating, chilling while that shit was going on. Yeah. Wow. And it's like I wouldn't have got caught up in nothing. But right. Yeah. Whatever. Be like that. Yeah. Niggas gotta like stop that. doing that. I'm yeah. Mad Miles, motherfucker. But yeah. hey, shut that If we being a hundred. Okay, crack diesel Southfield in the game. It's just a. It's, it's, it's a it's, it's another <laughs> level of uh, toxic masculinity, nigga. <laughs> like that's all that's, that's all rude. that is. That's rude. Because it, it really <laughs> is. Cause these dads, it seems like these dads don't talk to their daughters. I think it yeah, is. that is what it is, and that's they don't want to know. Like they don't want to know if that their daughter is doing something. I'm gonna kick it with the. It's, I'm gonna talk to my daughter like, bro. Don't like, be doing saying, this type bro. of shit with these Let's niggas. Be bro. honest, Come there on. is a heavily, heavily. Huge percentage of women that don't even grow up with a father. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like some dads go overboard. Some dads ain't even fucking. I niggas. get it though. You know? I ain't gonna sit here and say I don't get it. I feel it, but yeah, it's just, it. that's what I'm saying. Like I, I feel like but it's why just not? on some weird shit. Like I don't. I don't. This is my thing. The picture, the depiction of Ti. In the room, the <laughs> daughter getting the pap smear. He's it's like, like him on there? rhythm and is flow, there? sitting there all dressed up, sunglasses on, just in the corner, like. Yeah. So she is it busted? <laughs> so is it busted? <laughs> That's my thing. So is it, bro. Is it busted? Why not split try open? And help the boy though. Like, why not figure out how he came up, see what he need yeah, in life. Know. And plus, like I said, make it work. Know. Some of yeah, these, do, some look, Fuck. father. Some of y'all daughters ain't shit. Like, Damn. just like the same way. <laughs> hey, father. Some of your sons ain't shit. Like, Damn. that's not. That's <laughs> not. Yeah, 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 it's not it's like rude. specific to that's a gender, crib. my nigga. Like, talk, talk to your kids. To your understand kid. uh, what they're doing. Like, Participate. kids get curious about sex. That's Games. that's what it is, and you can't oh. hide them. <laughs> You can't hide you them from, can't hide sex. from sex. Nah. Like I you can't. I wish somebody talked to me. 
Nobody talked to me. Listen, it just happened. Can y'all oh, imagine us seeing Terrible. all the bodies that we see now, now back then? That we was fighting to just, see? No, I'm just saying scrolling. Yeah, that oh, we yeah, was fighting to see. We could just oh, see, like, yeah, yeah, like, oh, nigga, like, shit, I'd be a masturbation master. Facts. <laughs> 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 nigga, arm, <laughs> arm will be looking like Popeye. Have, listen, <laughs> oh my God. he was talking about the young ages that we had. And this is a full body cover. Like, it wasn't a lot showing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, a, can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, you see, log right in and can see what you want to see. Through having sex right now. Well, I mean, I, I, hey, let's let's let, look. <laughs> you remember when sites? You remember when sites asked you your age? <laughs> oh, go to Pornhub and shit. Not even ask no age, nigga. Here, you here? You here? Go well, crazy. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Oh, they, they <laughs> hey. Matter of fact, hey, how you doing? We got the link for you. <laughs> I was about to Video say. subscription. You're, hey, you like cartoons, right? We know that you're ten. You twelve. You like cartoons? There you go. Come check this out. No, it's really cool. It's really because they got your data. They do. <laughs> they they do. Talk the about algorithm. Sex. They already know what you but that's like. That's why they ain't asking. Like, no people they know swear, where like, you are. we had this conversation. They at, don't uh, care. <laughs> they we had this conversation care. at the job. Shit. And somebody feels like adults were into the tune shit. And I said, that's true. But it's to get them kids in there as well. Absolutely. I don't care what nobody it's says. It's recognizable though. characters. You They're know? going to go yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, I'm yeah. coming up. I'm coming up, and like I'm on the porn oh, side. You talking I about? Was, you got you got from Dragon Ball Z naked? Yeah, yeah, let me see. I was looking yeah. at the hentai. Yeah, let me see what's up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the same like moon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. What's next? We've been on that topic for a minute. All right, look, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Um. I don't want to go to no, sa- no sad here, shit. Bro? It is a bathroom here. DJ OC is in the building. All right, look, bro. Do Rag Chronicles. Do Rag Chronicles. So, look, this New Jersey college, right? All right. 28 million in slavery reparations. All right. So, here's what these niggas, here's, here's what these niggas did. So, they said they're going to offer 30 new scholarships and five, five doctoral scholarships for descendants of people who were enslaved. All right. It's going to cost a million a year. They're going to do this over the next 28 years because I guess somebody outed the fact that, you know, slaves built their, you know, little college that they got there. Wow. All right. So they like, yo, if you black, if you black or a descendant of a slave, we're going to make sure that you get a full ride here. Wow. And they're going to do that for the, they're going to do that for the next 28 years. What if, what if I don't want, I don't want the scholarship. I don't want the scholarship. I want the money. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. If I'm, if I was going, if I was about to go to state and them niggas like yo we'll give you a full ride to this bitch because you uh a descendant of a slave with the you type of payments it. i got right now my nigga of course take you would it. take it if you're going but i'm saying like what I'm if you don't want to go though, no 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 no. but this is time. only for people who going but, but saying, this leads you, back to the conversation saying, is like, money not, is money the only reparations nah, for niggas we've been saying no no i don't think that's bad for niggas that want to go to this school i think that's bad it's just like they they, I'm saying it's the same shit we was talking about with the NCAA when niggas force your hand and you have to do it. Like, nigga, I'm not giving niggas props because niggas got yeah. outed and niggas is just like, yo, we'll let you go to our college. Like, that's not okay. I hold up, hold like up. it's going to be beyond that's, that's the college. So like, what would you want them to do? If they got outed on some slave shit, you just want them niggas to give niggas money? Like niggas that just man. stay in like, New Jersey. We just talked about, <laughs> we just talked about how here. college, we just talked about how college isn't always like the direct path to what niggas is really trying to accomplish. So like, how you right? going to try to make make niggas. But for your black enter. person who is a descendant of a slave that wants to go to your college. Oh, hold on. Bro, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't even want to go to the college at all. Nigga. I'm a descendant of a slave. Uh, I no, that's a fact. I think we need life. reparations too. No, I feel you. Mule. Run me that. But I ain't so gonna hate. I ain't gonna hate on them doing this because they don't. Ha- they don't have to. No, they it's, don't. They, they don't, don't have to at all. We splitting hairs by saying I'm hating. I'm saying like it doesn't do anything for me. No, like, I ain't say you was hating. I was just saying I ain't gonna hate yeah, on you. I, I personally like, just don't look that's at what it as being like a benefit. It's just like, oh, okay, y'all taking care of school right now. It, Man, it's look, it's, it's, it's typical white white people like directing like, and saying exactly what it is. So my look, question bro, is, who's going to step up and say, no, nah, we don't want this fam, give us more? Bro, these Instead niggas of always accept don't have to facts, do it, like bro. That, facts. Like that. No, we got to. Like all right, so who's going to be the like person? Who's going to be the person to start the shit off? Because right now, niggas really ain't getting shit. The so Black these niggas about the to BSU get 30. They school. about to get 30 <laughs> mil. Whoever the BSU is at that 30 school, mil for like works. scholarships. Why does why does education cost so much? Like that shit is stupid. That's a whole nother fucking combo. But, but no, no. I'm saying like if you gonna 
put this in my face and this is supposed to be like the grand prize, you make, like I said, you're setting oh, up man. the game in a way that dictates what is successful and what's not successful. And this and, goes and, back and to the, what I was the saying. The path of success that you want for me to take, which might not be the path that I'm trying to be on. No. Okay, right. so if it's not the path that you're not trying to be on, they're not trying to register for the college in the first That'd place. But let's say I, if I'm black, <laughs> if I'm black, <laughs> all right, if I'm black and I'm about to go to this college, yeah. I'm taking this shit. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm taking listen, this shit. What's good, my baby? If you're taking it, I just want you to pick the right classes. Get in your bag. Yeah, get all your entrepreneurship like, yeah, going and go, and go crazy. Take, no, you that's a fact. Because you, you got a full, you got a free, you got a free ride. I'm happy that the reparations conversation is now serious. Me I'm too. happy that niggas are actually trying to do something because let's keep it funky. These niggas white, they ain't gonna do this shit at all. No, I mean. No. They don't have to do this <laughs> shit at all. They I wouldn't lose nothing. Look, hey, I, I see the LGB, all these corps. I see the LGBT like getting everything that they want. Right, nigga, well, let's so be gay and go crazy then. I'm saying, hey, <laughs> hey, come on, come on. I'm saying like you been waiting on it. You been waiting. Let's go. Can get everything. Let's that go, they want. crack. You been waiting. It's if coming. we in a, if it's we want the world, if we if we want the world, all we gotta do is be like tech, nigga. Let's go. If we're in a period in which you're telling me. Uh, Twenty-eight million dollars gets you free education, and basically they're not going to set you up like, hey, let me get my, I got a, I got a degree in communication, minor in journalism that I'm not fucking using. Can you period. hold this real quick. <laughs> All right, so what would you wait, do? Wait, wait, wait. We got so, Silent Bob still taking pictures over there. This nigga ain't doing <laughs> shit but having fun. Crazy. Crazy. He really so like what would you? Yeah, he is. What so, would you do? Crack. Let me ask you this. So if I'm saying, well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So if I take this scholarship and right. I get to the end, I graduate, and then I get this, or I can't get a job, which is possible too. If I get the job, am I going to what? what what's going to happen? I'm You're going not to, gonna have stu God, these students. You got student loan payments, don't you? you to have this piece yeah, of paper. it's okay. So that's, it. that's what I'm saying. We're I not weighed down by student loan. Like we we don't have the debt. My shit, like so my credit score there. is weighed down by student loans. But nigga. it's gonna be wiped away. I'm saying, like, what? niggas be getting. Listen, when you're talking about debt, we're in a society which is pushing you in the debt. Period. Like, so it's not just gonna be a school issue. So, okay, I get it. School's taken care of. It's like mad other shit that niggas have to deal with. What's the biggest piece of debt that most Americans have? Um, student loans. Okay. Or, but that doesn't. But, that, but that's because it's forced to. Oh, it's the forced, first thing you're like, supposed niggas, to do is go to that's school. That's what I'm saying. Like, go to you're telling college. niggas to go to, to college. So we having a different convo. Because no, you know, no, I agree with you there. Take that. Convo. Wait, just I'm take that this, away. This, this is part like this. It ties together. Yeah, like I, I don't see how that's a different conversation. Well, because you, you know, I agree with school being free for niggas. Period. I get that. But I'm saying, like, if you tell me this is a pro. If you're dictating so you what the prize point. is, it's not a prize. Like, not to me. Not Fuck to me. that. If I went to state and them niggas said, hey, nigga, you descendant of a slave but free, I'm like, if hell I don't, If I don't find, a, if I don't find yes. the same value, if I don't find the same nah, value. I'm not you, going to this school. If you tell so me to like, place a specific. If you tell me to place a specific value on something that I don't feel is value. as value. Yeah. Well, it don't matter. It don't apply. What the so fuck how do you matter? feel no. like we get this whole reparations thing started? Because I think little shit like this give is what land. Getting, like no, so is what's giving people the, land. But no, it's no, giving no, no, people. No. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna, gonna get to the. Money, we're gonna get to land. that. We're gonna start our own businesses. We we're gonna, gonna build get to our that. own community. Yeah, it's gonna get to that. But somebody got to. Like they did back in the day, they're not gonna be able to do that shit like they did. With anything, somebody has to start doing something this is so a start you, this was, it's it's you said this wasn't something that they just did on their own it was because niggas found out about some shit right Thanks. so that's what i'm saying i can't even i moved the same way niggas, i'm not doing I'm if you like, find out about some shit you got some scandal but, on me then i'm gonna do something okay. about it but if not then you know it's tucked under the rug but if niggas is not doing that <laughs> shit out the, the closet if niggas not doing that shit because it's the right thing to do 
or this is going to help people. Like, how am I gonna say like this is gonna lead to other shit? This nigga niggas only did this shit this because they got. Jersey. I can't out. say I can't say that the dean. I can't college. automatically say that <laughs> the dean of students. I can't say it automatically that the dean of students just knew that the the college was built well, by not slaves. That they, it's not a that religious they know, college. Know, but I don't think that's popping like that. We anyway. built everything. <laughs> no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Like, I don't know, bro. Like I'm not fact. upset with this, and I'm not ecstatic about this. I'm just I happy that some. I'm just happy like, that some black people are going to school to for free. That's that's yeah, that's what I mean, they're looking at. Shit, that's how they're looking at. It's what free can we do education. to help these black folks? I'm happy I'm not, for that. I'm not knocking free education. Which sounds drop a bomb for Wayne State. But I don't want nobody to go to no religion Damn! What? No bond for Wayne State. Why? They can get that. Damn, bro, that's big. Cause you MSU niggas is bougie. That's big. Fuck. You disrespect niggas. First off, nigga, you wish you went there with me. Was... No, I don't. Yes, you do. I, I, do. I, I wish I was there. What nigga, whole life will be in shambles. Yeah, hey, facts. I wouldn't yeah. have none of this shit. Entire life will be in shambles right now. I wouldn't have none of this shit going for me right now. No kid. Our guest. Our guest asked the question. What high school? Go ahead. I went to Cash. I went to Mackenzie High Southfield School. Southfield Lathrop High School. He All went right. there while that sex ring was going on. Oh, yeah, wow. for sure. Oh, <laughs> I was Sounds there. It was <laughs> right. I was there. So I let slabs get off. I'm a little more ratchet. I didn't do nothing. Um, I, I didn't get question. off. Crack ain't let me. Ratchet. I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> Crack ain't <laughs> let me get off. How do you off. feel about the Amarion and Lil Fizz situation? <laughs> Ooh, hey, 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 hey. You're Speaking of. Hey, Speaking of. Hey, is speculated that J Book yes. fucked his mom. Yeah, so let's I'll add that, that in. Yeah, I'll That's that. That. And bunch of jerks. And what? Nick Cannon messy ass had her on the show. I seen that last night. I definitely seen so that. So go ahead. With all that, with all that, do your thing. So first and foremost, let's just say that uh, I don't really like her fucking with anybody in B2K. You can't fuck with one member of B2K That's and then fact. fuck with somebody else. Now let's That's say Lil Fizz fact. was never in B2K. He was just a homie from around the way. Oh yeah, cool. But these niggas go back too far. Question like they're a whole Wait. cultural... So, like, hey, Fizz said they're not Fizz friends. Fizz said they're not friends. They never were. <laughs> yeah, they said they never friends. Shit. I the think fuck that's out of here. April... April did her fucking uh, seductive ass thing. They Jeez. they grew together. Hey, she must have like some fire, bro. Fire. <laughs> like, she must have some fire. I'm like her personality is very down to earth. We already catch that from her <laughs> interviews and stuff. However, she must be dropping something on niggas that water can't get off. Omarion not fucking with it. His mama told him a long time ago not to fuck with His her. mama can't say shit if she fuck J. Bull. Okay, that's another oh, one. That's yeah. another one. Can't another. say a goddamn thing. But I don't have no from? excuse for that. Like, I just personally feel like that's you You crossed the line. But if they was never, like, homeboys, like, I see that they're homeboys, then do your thing. But you bitch. know what? A lot of groups say that shit after they break up that they I don't give really a fuck. don't be cool, these, but still. Listen, I, I grew up off these niggas. Okay. I've been watching Jay Bug, Omarion, Raz Since Lil Saint. Since Lil Saint. Since before Lil Saint. Pump, 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 uh, when oh, is it okay? Yeah. When? Uh, wait, wait, wait! I love, I love the energy and the kids. No, not even, not even <laughs> that. Cause that shit, that shit gonna be sister. sick in general. When is it okay, uh, if at all, to fuck with anybody that your homeboy or homegirl like fuck with? Oh, mm. Man. Mm. Mm. Bro, I just, I, I swear. Cause niggas got they. Was well, this off our last limits. show? Yeah. Niggas got they off okay. limits. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't, y'all never, no, y'all never. I, we talked about no, it. On no, the no, y'all no, never answered that question. Cause Spooty, Spooty you, saw the question in bold, but he didn't ask. Let it. me go. Cause so I'm, go I'm ahead. gonna be, I'm gonna be as real as possible, bro. Um, if we in a situation where someone's just fucking and we know everybody on hands and we know, hey, she wanna fuck you, you can get her next. It's all fun. That's fine, but, but far that's, as like that's not, that's not what this baby is. mothers, yeah, wives, yeah. and stuff like that, it should it limit. should be cut off, bro. Yeah. That's just me personally. If. Those are cut off because my thing is, even if I'm not with my baby mama, guess who got to deal with that shit? My son or my fucking daughter do. Right. And in this yeah. time of age, like I said last episode, one of the students gonna be like, "Hey, your mama fucking your daddy band member or your best, yeah. friend, you know what I'm saying? These yeah, kids the is crazy. fucking the uncle." 
The uncle. Your mama fucked Uncle Fizz. Uncle Fizz, nigga. You mean my stepdad? Listen, bro, if I, uh, <laughs> if I had any, so if I had any type of like. No, that's my stepdaddy. That ain't my uncle. Nigga, that's my stepdaddy. If I had any type of feelings, like feelings for you, Uh-oh. then you can't. You can't touch her. Uh-oh. Yeah. But if, if it was just a hit, right. it was a hit. Go crazy. Right. He drank yeah, it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Right. Even if it was a couple line. hits, go crazy. But it's, it's, shit, it's shit that's off limits. Like, yeah, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You that's what I'm saying. It's too much. know what's up. I think that that that's but you should even know your mans enough to know, like, yeah. I ain't going. That's what I was about to say. That's a conversation that you don't even have to have. That's such a line, a visible line you don't cross. If I had her and I never said this is my girlfriend, by all means, go fucking crazy, y'all. I feel like Do you would know. know. But you know what niggas that's a be goddamn doing. Niggas lie. don't be saying that's shit. No, no. Oh, for me? That's a goddamn no, lie, bro. No, facts. It is a lie. I won't say. I'm it's a lie, bro. If it was yeah, yeah, it's a lie. No, Keyword Just because it was never me. your girlfriend? Keyword yeah. for me. It's a lie, bro. You're going to feel a little type no, of way. You, you're not the type of nigga that's going to. I said for me. I can't speak for nobody no, bro. but myself. Bro. No, you're not the type of nigga that's going to make it into a big deal. Like I'm the type of nigga that's gonna make it to a big deal. You you gonna be like fuck I'm it, tuck it under the rug. Get... So that's but you gonna it. think about care. it. No, you gonna think about that shit. You know what? Low key in high school, we'll like, everybody right. was yeah. You gonna be like, you some like bullshit. That. Yeah, you gonna say it's some bullshit, but you ain't gonna. Oh shit. You ain't gonna talk about it. You fucking this bitch. You ain't gonna talk about it though. I'm a liar. It's laugh. a joke, bro. And then y'all see no, no. Joke, I see like, yeah, but I fuck out of here. When have you ever heard me trip about anything? Bro? I ain't never tried to fuck nobody. <laughs> Not you, but it's been plenty of people who didn't fuck after a You fuck ain't trip about fuck. it, but you made a comment. I and I feel like when niggas make a comment, it matter a little bit. But you just know how to tuck it better than a nigga like me. No. I feel, I feel yes. like that's just some lame shit. Like, to me, like... You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that, it will, it'll never oh, be. But if it ain't matter, it wouldn't even be lame. But yeah, it's going to matter to a point. Yeah, to, to be if like, it ain't no, matter, it wouldn't even be shit. lame. It'll be like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but yeah, if it's, right. you know, right, that's yeah, what I'm saying. That's so crazy. It's okay, even if it's a nigga. Fuck with a I know what you mean. Hey, whoa, hold on, buddy. Not a bitch of thought, you got to sit back like I'm fucking with this bitch. She is not. Oh, I hit that bitch too. She is not. I mean, I'm sure the females had the same conversation about the niggas. So. I know that same no, conversation no, no. got had know. about me. First niggas. of all, bitches don't like if they even breathe in your face, they don't want you talking to the next bitch. Oh my god, <laughs> y'all, no y'all got a little way. different system. I'm glad, you know what? I'm y'all, glad, y'all a little different yeah. system. Yeah. And I'm glad that you here <laughs> admitting it, bro. I'm y'all glad do. that you here admitting it. If you, if I breathe in his face and we exchange numbers, we text. She I told mad. him what I did yeah, yesterday, she, and she you're trying to fuck the nigga. They're gonna fight. That's crazy. It's over. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, That's what I'm saying. All like, I'm saying is I know a lot of yeah, niggas yeah. that fuck the same females and everything is still cool. I mean, that nigga hey. must have money. Depend on who it is. Uh, yeah, That's I was about way. to say. Depend it, on who it, it is it, for me. It, it, it depends on, yeah. it depend on who the fuck it is. It depends on the right. people and if niggas is being real. Listen, because God, I done seen a lot of situations where niggas don't be real and this shit pop up. I'm going to say this now. Y'all shouldn't be popping up. Y'all better be lucky I ain't fizz. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just say that. All these Aprils out here, you see these Aprils. I ain't even about to say, hey, y'all niggas y'all not safe. Y'all <laughs> not safe. Wait, so none of y'all are in relationships? Nah, my niggas I'm is married. safe. My niggas y'all is safe. Married? I'm okay. married. I ain't married yet. But I'm talking okay. about in past times. Yeah. Niggas better be lucky I wasn't fizz. Nah, that's like a fact. Man, that's fizz. a fact. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. But look, <laughs> dirty I Mac. Of, I turned a lot of y'all's away. Dirty. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Well, look, y'all, I'm about to boogie Jeez. because I kind of abandoned my table. Oh, that's my cool, girl. man. We, we appreciate you. I enjoyed this. I got to come back. Talk like, your shit. Talk your shit real quick. Talk your shit real quick. Okay, uh, you know, where do you find us? Um, um, I'm, you can be find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me anywhere. You can find me on Apple Music. That's what we pushing. We pushing my single all gone. Talk I'm shit. talking shit in my track. So Talk you definitely want to download that, especially for the ladies out there who are going through something. You trying to catch the vibe during this Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Listen to my track. You're going to love it. And I appreciate the fellas from the Forecast Podcast. Yeah. What sign is you? What yeah. sign is you? You talking about retrograde. What sign are you? I'm a Libra. Oh. But my moon, my moon sign is an Aries. Oh, yeah, I'm on Aries. I'm a you Libra, Aries? and my sign is a scale. Yeah, fire sign. Fire sign. Yeah, I'm a Leo. Balance, baby, balance. It's balance. fire sign. Yeah. Wow. Libra. So this is probably one of the best guests that we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, you was lit. Take some booty spot. Where are you going? Where are you going home? We don't want Cookie oh. on here, man. Wow. Talking about free. Wow. So yeah, y'all, y'all enjoy the rest of the 
event. Thank hey, you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I look forward to connecting yeah, thank with you for sitting down. What please do? We appreciate you. We appreciate you. See you later. Oh, Crack is out of here. Oh, no, he's moving. Look, man, where he, oh, he's moving out the way. Crack was about to get the fuck on, dog. God damn. Look, man. What's up? Uh, What's that say? Perfect box? Yeah, that was a slow ass drop box. <laughs> perfect box. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> hey. Oh my God. Like, damn, perfect That's a box. body. Perfect. Oh, I ain't know. I thought that shit. Okay. Oh, hey, hold hey, on. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hold on. Hang Jesus tight. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she going crazy in this motherfucker. I can never, bro. I always said, bro. I can never, I can never date a singer. Her ass would get, a, get away with everything. Nah. I swear to God. Why are you coming in late? You got a 4 a.m. song? You good. You off the fucking hook. <laughs> I am fast. You off the hook. You got a 4 a.m. song? See you later. And then you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. God. God. His name is John <laughs> Green. Hey. Hey. Yo. What's up? You coming? You coming over? Hey. Oh, my God. Let, if you ain't singing, Green Beanie, don't come I got to get the fuck out of here, bro. If you not singing. Oh. God. If you're not singing, don't even get Listen, on the mic. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you were singing? I got recorded. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. Look at the yeah, camera. Okay. Say what's up to yeah, Facebook. Up, Jesus Christ. Bro, this, this, nigga, oh, this nigga singer, a Libra, that nigga ruined my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Whole Wait, life I being shambles. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, no, that's the that's the soundboard, man. That's the soundboard. What's up? How you living? Introduce yourself. What you here for? What's up? So my name is Candace Green, aka Green Beach. With the Four Black Girls Podcast, we are here at the Culture Shop. Yeah. So many beautiful black businesses out here, so y'all just need to come through, show some support, and shoot. Yeah. Just watch everybody like do their thing. Yeah. Entrepreneurs. Man, Learn facts. Something. Support black business. Always, um, always. Shout out to Green Bean. I was playing 2K last night. A lot of them bitches was going crazy. Green up. I'm like, damn, she's on 2K? No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? Listen to 2K, nigga. I was with all y'all ass in 2K. Oh, that oh, will never man. happen. This nigga plays way too much. Too. I know. Definitely a whoop play. they asses. Games. Because we play real oh. games. You play games yeah. that you need skill for. Nigga will never touch hey, shit up. I wait, play. Wait, wait, wait. I we got a home. Play Nigga real Silent Bob, shit. everybody. Nigga will never touch shit I play. Look at Silent Bob. Jay and Silent Bob. Come, 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 come. It's dirty. Dang. No, he does Dirty Dan. <laughs> dirty Dan. <laughs> dirty Dan and Silent Bob. <laughs> you forgot. Dirty Dan talk, and Silent Bob. Just the shit talking shit. Oh, no, no. Listen, man. Right. Let me start a convo off real quick. All right. Ask her if she wants us to go to the guy in college. Support <laughs> our daughters. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, look down yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Look at you. Okay. All right. Better look that here. All I'm saying is, if my daddy ever went with me, I'll be mortified. That's all I got to say. Facts. That's all right. I'll be mortified. Yeah, okay. I'll be mortified. I'm like, like oh, dad. Yeah. It's like, I either understand. you trust me yeah. or you don't. Okay. <laughs> See? That, that, that's what, a that's a normal response. Hell no, I ain't going with her. Uh, <laughs> not going unless she just she went asked last me week. If she asked me to, yeah. If she asked me to go, she I'll just go. went last week. She asked me. I said I ain't going. You say that last <laughs> week. <laughs> Why? She gonna be like, Dad, I got a boyfriend. You gonna be like, Yeah, I'm going. Let's go right now. I'm not, cause I'm gonna assume he fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna just already make those just, regular assumptions. Yeah, that's assumptions. what I'm saying. Like, I'm just be like, yo, please just use protection. I'm gonna assume that nigga is smooth I'm on his trying, feet I'm enough trying. for you to want to talk to him to where he just, just slid just his just little ass. Sure I just know what we was doing. doing we was, you know, he just slid his little ass in them pants, man. Come yeah, on, we're talking that. about T.I. and his yeah, crazy that. acts. I can't do it. He lied, my baby. What you about to come on here? Oh. We lied. No? Yeah, my thing is like trust your kids to make mistakes in life. They gonna like just like y'all did. So don't 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 get your hurt for feelings hurt. Okay. That's not the narrative. Hey, how you doing? Introduce yourself. <laughs> Said that's not the narrative. Introduce, Introduce yourself. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, my head is too small. My head is too small for my for these headphones. How do y'all wear these? We just. Wear them like headphones, like we've been wearing headphones for years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, why am I 
just the way, just the way you put on over the ears. Hey, okay, look. First of all, it took me ninety five thousand hours to get this head set off. Ninety five thousand hours. So I feel hours. some type of way, but I'm here. Say hi to the camera. How you doing? Say hi yeah, to the live. camera. Hi. Introduce live yourself. Live on yeah, introduce yeah. yourself. I am Lanasia Angelina. I am a quarter of the Four Black Girls podcast. Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. We got to Let's pass. She, she in the soundboard spot. <laughs> yeah, let's pass this over. Let's pass this soundboard over. Did you? Pass what over? Did you? Yeah. I'm going to have to get that soundboard We was going to drop some bombs for you. Y'all about to drop some bombs? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's bombs. Me, 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 me. Right. Here we go. This is Lemonade. <laughs> With some Damn, son, where'd you find this? Like Miles act like he ain't got a top row of numbers. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ, we really need more drops. Table. Yeah, we drops. ain't here, man. We ain't so here. So what are we talking about? Are we just kicking it? All right, so here's what we're talking, so what we talking about right now. We're talking about going to the gynecologist with my daughter <laughs> because my one-month-old asked me to go with her last week. I said, hell no, is you crazy? So I ain't going there. First of all, you said your one month. Yeah, I said I ain't going to the Ask him how old his daughter is. One month. I just said one month. Okay. I said I ain't going. He said his one month old asked him to go with Yeah, I Your one month old can't talk. She can. It's crazy like, shit. She can. She can speak yeah, in life. Yeah, I said gynec- gynecologists. So yeah, what are we really talking about? Nah, that's what we're talking about, though. Should we go with them when they get older? Should we go? Well, Crack already, I mean, yes, uh, his daughter's already at the age. When they start to go to the gynecologist. My daughter's 11 years old, so we kind of like around that period uh, so if there's an active she, mother she takes yeah she okay. we, we, my we wife takes care of that she goes uh, to the gynecologist at 11 years no, old no i'm saying my, my wife will take care of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. excuse me no i'm saying Just when it's time yeah, i'm not yeah i'm right. not i'm not putting out when do you all think it's you know what? when do you all think it's time i when think it's time like about the gynecologist i think like, the, the mom she just go ahead and look the dad, yeah, first of the, all the dad needs to know the inner workings too okay the look, inner, why, no. Okay, all right, just, time out. Least, time just out. Like, time time out. Okay, look. Wait a wrong second. Word, I need word. to know the inner work of my daughter's vagina. I know what's in there. Maybe I should say at least know the blueprint of what's going on. I know, I know okay, what's in there. But I don't have to go to the gynecologist. No, let me, let me no, say no, first, no, no. there is no reason that your 11 year old, 12 year old, 13 year old should be really even going to the gynecologist. Uh, she should still be seeing a family doctor. Pediatrician. <laughs> Pediatrician. Right. But I feel, I feel is it bad. weird that he goes with his 18 year old daughter to see if her hymen has been split open? That is, I think first that of all, is that very is weird. a very direct question. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll let Candace I feel bad first. for her because now her business is all out there. Like, she didn't anticipate to have to be the focal point of everybody's opinions right now. Yeah, she's like, everybody know I'm doing anal now. Yeah. She pissed as hell. <laughs> you see that? You <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that shit. No, what I'm saying, like, I feel like it's very normal for a parent to go to the gynecologist with their child. The dad? Yes, the parent. To, to know what's going on with their child. What I don't feel is normal is for him to share those intimate moments with everyone. He was hyped as hell. also for everybody to be chiming in about it. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just personally... As long as he's not doing anything harmful to his daughter, um, well, I don't know. I feel like those are intimate moments that should be kept, at, you know what I'm saying, sacred. You know, honestly, because well, everyone's saying podcast. like, oh, he's he's treating her so badly, this, that, and the other. And it's like, no one would have, I mean, honestly, that's not harmful to her, but that should be, that should be kept. Uh, Me personally. Let's and see. also, uh, if he's having a conversation about whether or not she's having sex, it should be about more than just um, is the your physical result. Yeah, that's the sure. last that's damn that's thing I care about, about if you're having sex. There are so many other conversations <laughs> that need to be had. But who's to say he hasn't had those? I haven't heard anyone ask him, so I honestly can't chime in on that. He seemed weird. He's, he they, says uh, every year after her birthday, like okay. the day after her birthday. I bet you the nurse be lying. I bet she be paying them off, like, tell my daddy he's still there. One of the younger, one of one of one of the artists yeah, that he have on his label said like he was acting kind of weird when she got pregnant. Well, who got pregnant? Um, one of his artists, one of his artists got pregnant, and he was like, you know, she had finally told him because he was kind of keeping it a secret. Who Iggy Azalea? Nah, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Iggy, no. What did he say? Somebody else. I can't remember her name, but she said he acted kind of weird, like to find out that she was. Having sex and got pregnant. Wait, like, just that she was problem? having sex or the fact that she you got pregnant? You are artists. Listen, that's your money. They they looking like 
I, I mean, see no, two no female offense. artists that ain't female lose no money while they got pregnant. However, it's an old, it's listen, an old way of thinking. When you in business with somebody, antiquated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you in business with somebody, your first thought, obviously, it may not be the best thought, but if that's where your mind is on the money, and then you find out your artist is pregnant, you thinking about all the other things that got all the other moving parts. But that you know what I'm saying? Not to say that it's right. I think right now is the best be time for a female a artist to get pregnant. To. I think right However, now is the best time. The best time. I mean, that, that's subjective. They, they, well, they empower. Yeah. They empower like, that. Like, look at Cardi and Young yeah, Miami. Yeah, they like. They like. Yo, y'all still no, getting off while pregnant. It's a lot of moving parts. Love it. It's a lot of moving parts when you're in business. Because you think about the time that they can't perform, the time they can't make money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I, a woman should be able to do whatever she wants to do with her body. However, he has every right as somebody who's invested in her, you know what I'm saying, financially, that the moving parts are in place. So maybe his mind was just not to play devil's advocate, but maybe his mind was on like, all right, let me think about these moving parts. Now that I hear the gynecologist story, I think his mind was elsewhere. Who knows? Now that I heard that. What else are we talking about? <laughs> not that. What else are we talking about? So we ain't talking about coochies. I'm, I'm trying to pivot. Look. I ain't even got no No, no, no. Look. I don't have to pivot with. Now we gonna pivot. Let's stop talking about What else are we talking about? about? I, yeah. Hey. Peace and blessings manifest with hey, every lesson. Yeah. Life. Hopefully they have listen. a good relationship moving forward. Listen, let's, 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 let's get into this. Let's get into this. All right. I don't know if y'all ever, ever did this before. All right. So look. <laughs> McDonald's CEO, right, got fired for, I guess, fucking one of his employees. Wow. Smoking all right. dope. So? Oh, I ain't here to smoke a dope shit. So, all right, so with that, it's like, yo, it's a bad stigma on people having any type of relationship whatsoever with people that they work with, like, in the workplace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even in, like, other situations, too. How y'all feel about that? Is that okay? First of all, it depends grown. on what the guidelines are. I got are two kids off the shit. Second is like keep that, <laughs> as long as, long as <laughs> it doesn't affect. Got long two long kids off the shit. As long as it doesn't affect your work, you grown. Like you gonna make your own decisions. But I feel like there are guidelines put in place within the workplace, especially when you are in a position as a CEO. Then That's you true. have there's a standard. And not just a standard; it's in writing what you cannot do. Yeah. So honestly, but why? I mean, legally, is, is you cool legally you can? can date this person, but it's not legal within the parameters of your position because you have been told that this is off limits. So you got to understand that there are going to be consequences that you must accept. You know what I'm saying? Not to say it's not legally wrong. Well, off that, I, I, off that. is it okay? Do you think it's okay well, to I do it? Do you okay? think he should be? Do you think like? No, and not if it's in the guidelines. He's a CEO. It's a conflict of interest. Yeah. That's an absolute no. It's, it's I, don't, I don't feel like he got enough to and niece off the conflict of interest, buddy. Right. But it's not. But it's not. It's All right. Not, it's not All right, a gray Christ. area. It's not, Conflict of interest. It's something that's established. Got a mirror and Miley like here, nigga. Law. It's like a law within that corporation. I'm so saying, yes, he has to abide yeah. by it. That's just what it is. And this ain't just like I'm it's not like just talking code. about. Yeah, I'm what not just talking about like even just like employees. But when you have like a CEO who is in charge of so many people's yeah. you know, daily lives. <laughs> he just can't get off on one of the employees. Huh? No, you can't. No, I'm just I saying mean, you because can, then you start treating them different. No, like, but you cool. Like, if it wasn't consequences, you'd be like, it's cool. Like, I don't see no problem no. with it. I mean, no, I, I still think, think it's... You still see, you no, see a problem with yeah, it? I still think if it's in business, yeah. like, nah, you can't it's do not, that no. shit. Because Especially if you're in a place of leadership. Peer, peer to peer, <laughs> date. If y'all want to f up y'all life, <laughs> damn, <why laughs> you date your coworker? By all means. However, if you're yeah. in a place, in, if you're in a position of authority, and you and your decisions can affect someone else's, you know what I'm saying? Based off that relationship, then no, 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 no. Perfect no. example, y'all. Got a, perfect example. Got a Look, fucking bone to pick with you, buddy. No, y'all see the got movie? Got a bone to pick with you, you buddy. The movie obsessed with Beyonce. Upset? Yeah. Okay. Got a bone to pick so with Idris, you, buddy. he has to fire her yeah, because he you, fell in love with her. He was the boss, like, so he ended up firing her, and then they got together. So that's the that way. Yeah, yeah, see, like, I don't, I, I just feel I'm like, I'm like, fuck. No, yeah, no. you can't intermingle those yeah. two I'ma still give you a hug. And expect people Man, to Calvin, look at you the same. That's the wrong nigga. To like, I, I feel like people are yeah. question, like, what you're you in a minute. Let's see you in a minute. You out? You leaving? Effect. You leave it? Long story short, oh, leave shit. your dick at home. <laughs> <laughs> leave your dick at home. Don't Hold it down. Don't bring it to work. In the work don't place. bring your dick to work. <laughs> don't bring <laughs> Don't bring your dick to work. <laughs> Keep your legs closed, ladies. I work. Especially for the CEO. Hey, look, they can. Okay. Facts. I'm just saying. Facts. Right? CEO, no. 
And look at and look at all my co-hosts leaving and shit while I ain't got I ain't got no notes pulled up. I'm just responding to niggas. What is the mashup style? I don't know. I have no. It's supposed to start at five. That's five oh nine. Well, shit. Should we, oh, I should be part of the mashup. How y'all been enjoying the event, though, so far? I've been having a good time. I got some Hardest Too Easy gear. I got yep. some. Hardest Too Easy. Um, Shout out to Spooty. To a drink from a teeny to go. How it tastes. How oh, it tastes. Oh, and I got some cereal from the cereal bar. I'm taking that home. That's breakfast yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Oh, the teeny is bomb. Shout okay. out to the ladies over there holding okay. it down. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, And then we also got some cereal. Saturday yeah. morning cereal bar. Out there holding it down. Oh my gosh. Y'all like cereal. You're talking about somebody who's black business. Definitely check out Saturday morning. Y'all coming on the podcast? Yeah, we're coming on the podcast. Y'all coming on the podcast? Oh, yeah, y'all turn now. I love you all. We'll see y'all in a few. The mashup's supposed to be happening now? Is that like. Is that happening now? Like the mashup thing? I don't know what's going on. Oh, I guess when they call us. I guess whenever they call us. Yeah, that's what they call us. I guess when they call us. I guess whenever they call us. Whenever they call us. Coming on. Hey, 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 hey. Got some more guests in the building. Got some more guests in the building. Go ahead, have a seat, have a seat. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, I love the sirens. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. what you mean? What, 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 what we talking about, bro? Every week, what's he talking about? Every week. Yeah. yeah. Forecast business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, introduce, introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Daisha. I am a Sagittarius son of Gemini Moon Aquarius rising, and I am one fourth of the four black girls. What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Not a Gemini moon, just a regular Gemini. Uh, <laughs> and um, I'm also one fourth of the four black. There we go. Yeah. to y'all. South to y'all. Dropping by. We had a fourth of y'all. We had a fourth of y'all drop by for an episode. Yeah. In Green Beanie. Yeah. Oh, it was enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, it was it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Shout out to the team. Shout to y'all though, man. Y'all listen to us? No. Oh, I'm sorry, but I definitely will begin oh, well, we got listening to you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> we get more, get more information. Y'all gonna listen to this episode? Though, Period. Right? And I'm about to be a yeah, come a listener, subscribe, and download. Y'all listen to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fuck with y'all. Did y'all Period. listen to her episode? No. No. Oh, she oh, had a dope ass out, episode. Yeah. I gotta go back and listen. Oh, really? Yeah, she didn't. She was up there getting off for like two and a half hours. Wow. Wow. She ain't even let the team she know. Ain't let nobody know. It was one wow. of our best episodes. No, wow. facts. It it definitely has some of the most listens. Wow, I definitely yeah. got to. You ain't tell them you was on the show. No, don't lie. No. Oh, they saying you ain't tell them. I don't remember that. They saying you ain't tell them. I don't recall. Oh, it's okay. Anyways, anyways. It's okay. It's all right. We off here getting off. Look. Since y'all here, we just gonna get into. Who got trees, bro? Like this shit bothering me. Probably roll Jeff. Up. Roll it up. I'm about like to leave. This nigga, my, my forecast jacket, pissing me I'm off that he didn't get that four in white. Blood. Like it just say cast. Bring one back. I can see how that. Yeah, it just say cast. I didn't. This nigga song. I didn't want the white. Hey, like, nigga, it just say cast. Is it black? Yeah, yeah like, four, bro, what are, you, what are you doing, jackass? Look. <laughs> so I heard that one of you all are a videographer. Uh, I, I I work a little bit in just the videography bit. world. Is yeah, that, that, that would be me. Okay. Uh, um, I would just love to connect because you yeah. know I just that ain't asking. being modest at all. You shot a whole video that we can't release because it is nigga spooty ass. Yeah. It was a uh, good ass video. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. I've, I've it was directed. Good. I've directed a few. Music it was videos. a good video. Well, I just need some help with like putting together a video. I know you're like you you are probably well versed in the editing realm and things like that. I can, I, I can show. Come on, okay. man. Come on, man. What's up? Get off, nigga. I ain't trying. You Get know, off. Because I learned, I learned a lot from the people around me. You know what I'm saying? But okay. yeah, I could definitely put you. There. Okay, great. Well, we definitely have to connect. I love supporting people. Don't think I'm trying to just, uh, you know, uh, can I meet with you for a minute, pick your brain? Yeah. I definitely want to spend money. And, uh, yeah, come with that strong energy. Yeah. Come yeah. with that strong energy. I was about to say, yeah, yeah because a lot of people do. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. A lot of people be like, hey. 
You want to talk for a minute? Uh, what, what would you do about this? Right. Let me take all your ideas and walk away with them. No, oh, yeah. so, I definitely believe in importance. Yeah, that's what I do. The knowledge that they have. <laughs> um, so I definitely no, want to connect with you. Yeah, um, no, that's what I do. Because <laughs> I got something to put together. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, that's what's up. Okay, talk about shit. Definitely trying to uh, help as many people as possible, especially with presenting and producing. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be next? Hey, you can hop on. You hop on for sure. Yeah, hop on, hop on. We gonna yeah, be here. If, it, if it comes down to trying to do something high level and something dope in a different way that nobody else is doing it, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, great. That's exciting. Feel so blessed to be plugged in with y'all right now. Uh, yeah, so we here. We hey, here. Hey, can you buy me the jam Miles, handy? Can you Yo. give me another one of them things? And while, while this nigga huh? is making requests, how, how, what the, the tipsy bartender? Yeah. How's the like experience it. been I'm for buzzing. y'all so far? <laughs> you, you want know one? What I'm saying? No, uh, at the gym, uh, yeah, yeah. How, how's here. the experience been for y'all, bro? I think the experience has been lit. Miles. It's a lot of good energy in here. It's a lot of cool vendors. One. We got jackets. We got liquor. We got. Liquor. We got food. Get two real ones. Okay, I came across something yeah. called taco pasta. Get off the mic. I'm not. And I I'm definitely want to see what ones. that's about. I don't eat meat, but like that's definitely got me ready to risk it all. Because <laughs> Wait, I what's love going on? Mexican what you risking food? off for? The, the taco more. pasta. Yeah. Oh, like, that shit's so damn good. The taco joint. She ran out. At the last. Oh my. God, at the last event we was at, uh, I'm addicted to Mexican that's all that nigga was talking about was so taco good. pasta. Yeah, she on point. She got other good pastas too. She good. She usually be at every event we be at. Yeah. Like, okay. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna plug in she and uh, follow her on social media because yep, I just think that that's innovative. And Ta- I mean, it's taco pasta, but I ain't never heard of that before. So. Premium got good food too. Yeah. Okay, shout out to Shout out yeah. on premium mac and cheese. So, yeah, oh yeah, because he definitely gonna hell. hook us up. Okay. <laughs> so with y'all podcast, yeah. get the sirens going. I want, want, want to talk about y'all podcast. Yeah, go ahead. Get get y'all rocks off, man. Use our platform to go crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, Please talk, talk follow for Black Girls. Um, we are a platform for all girls, but especially for Black Girls, to come and have a safe pace to um, just learn different things, be empowered, be enlightened, and just find community. Uh, we have Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit yeah, like that. Shit, shit like, like that. that. <laughs> we have four different personalities. I'm sure you're going to find somebody that you can connect to. So, yes, please like, listen, share, subscribe on all platforms because we lit, y'all. I fuck with all y'all so far. Hey. Yeah, I fuck with all y'all so far. I like the energy. I would love to do a collaboration. We could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We, we could do some energy. shit. We could do some shit for sure. That's How exciting. Did, who, who, who had the idea? Lanasia birthed this idea and brought okay, us all you. together. I feel so Get grateful that she felt me uh, needed to include in her vision. So, shout out to Lanasia. Sash Ooh. girls do it better, period, always. That's what yeah, doing. get Liddy. About to get Miles drunk. So, so how long have, <laughs> so how long y'all been uh, recording? Uh, we've uh, been recording for about six months now. I think we started in June yeah, or we May. we started right after my birthday. Oh, right after your birthday. Okay, yeah, so that's June, June, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we was a Gemini baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> so where, y'all, where y'all recorded? It at? wasn't, though, a Gemini baby. No, it, it was, was cancer. cancer. Damn. Uh, uh, shout out to the Cancers, though, I guess. <laughs> uh, I said, I guess. Where do, you, where do y'all record at? Uh, we record at Shop Talk Studio. Shout out to DJ Cool Breeze for getting us together every Sunday. We appreciate you so much. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. So, with running the podcast... You know, we, we've had our own sets of challenges and things that we've had to deal with. Like, what's been, like, the biggest thing that y'all have had to deal with so far with, the uh, you know, podcasting? I think it's just kind of learning from the ground up, you know? Yeah. We're six months new, so, like, events like this kind of show us how, like, other people run their business. So, yeah. like, let us get some ideas. Learning process um, type yeah. things. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, right now we're almost at 2,000 downloads. Yeah, um, we're that's damn. Yeah, that, that's what's up. Y'all we're yeah, y'all going crazy. All the we ain't did no shit so. like that. Two thousand downloads. Two thousand downloads. Y'all, downloads yeah, y'all getting off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all need them. Yeah, y'all need them. Y'all getting off. Especially like uh, in the podcast. Like, who are some of y'all influences? Like, do you do you guys have like favorite podcasts that y'all kind of draw inspiration from? Um, I definitely have favorite podcasts, and I will say that they kind of influence me in a way to just always be authentic and share my story and not be afraid of who I am. 
Um, one of my most favorite podcasts is uh, Pretty Lit the Podcast, Spiritual Home Girl, uh, Brown Girl, Alchemizing. Um, I'm very deep in the spirituality game, so anybody that's talking about growth, being better, doing things different, shout out to getting grown. Um, I, the name is slipping me. I think it's Ratchet and Respectable uh, with Demetria Lucas. I love that podcast as well. But anybody that's just talking about being better, being uh, vulnerable about their journey, I'm, I'm very lit about that. Like, I love it. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what about you? So I'm actually, it's funny that I'm on this and I'm on Four Black Girls because I'm not even like really a podcast listener. Um, I'm just honest. That's um, I get most of my inspiration. My part's Ash Inspires. I started a blog last year in August, and that's kind of where it came from. Um, but I kind of use like life experiences, like what's going on on like social media, because um, mostly I speak about like relationships, healing, growth, like being the best version of you. So I kind of just get that from daily experience. And yeah, it sounds like y'all mission so, is very positive. Yeah, you guys are, are more so right. like empowering. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's what's right. up. Yeah, we that's don't do right. that over here. We just talk a whole bunch of shit. I love, Not, but, <laughs> I love talking shit. You so. need that. Look and though, look bad. though. Yeah, you gotta balance. We do, but what no, we do, we what we do. Um, so the shit people talk about on social media, they talk about they talk about it on such a surface level. Yeah. So. Y'all let, let, let's take something as petty as like you know the little fizz April Jones situation. Let's talk about um, it. They talk about that on the surface level. We kind of like we we, we kind of get into a deeper deeper conversation about that shit. Okay, so like, like that good. that conversation turned into an entire kind of you know relationship topic as opposed to just being like, oh she petty as fuck for fucking. Do you think for she's petty him. as fuck? Um, what are your thoughts I don't think on she that? petty. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't agree with it. Okay. I wouldn't agree with it. Oh, I, uh, I don't like. I I'm not. Petty I, petty. I don't know about petty because I don't know. With petty, it is. I guess I don't think she's doing this shit out of spite of Omaria. Okay, oh, I, yeah, think I don't is. either. I think she is. I think she just. I think she, yeah. I after think she after, after she cool. sat on video, after she sat on video and named all these people she slept with, I don't think it's out of spite. I, I just think it's either. something she do. I think so as well. So and we started talking about like you know what's off limits for you because some people don't understand that well like what's something that's off limits for you like I got I got like what's your off I got my past thing that's off limits uh, man uh, I got a like, few that's off limits if I had any them? type of no nah, hell no nah. <laughs> hell no nah. if I had any type of like feelings for you even if that didn't like turn into a relationship. Yeah. Uh, then you it's off limits it. if I have feelings for you. All right, got so you. you know, that's about you. You know why? It's these, about five people. You know why? Okay. It's about petty. five people that's off limits. Petty. So that's it's a good number for me. I think so. Yeah. No, you know why she petty is because she has kids benefiting from the group that her baby daddy and her current person, whatever. So you think uh, she's being petty purposely. I just think now she's getting on. I'm saying like there's a line. So real quick before you start. To. So this is the type of shit to get into. Niggas on social media kind of just stay at the surface level. Like oh fuck her, right. fuck him. That be right. it. We dig a little deeper. I'm, I'm Go ahead. Why is she petty? A, there's a line that you get to where you like yo. It, will Looking this fine today. Affect what's Looking going fine on outside of me. <laughs> uh, or am I gonna keep going? Out of spite for the bad city. because they're not in a good place. Like they're not, they don't have a good relationship. They don't like from what I've heard. Like, casino. like they don't talk or anything. Yeah, that's what I'm getting as well. But and I don't, I don't like how she's on social media now talking about child support hey, and this yeah, and that. Because time, from, to my understanding, Omari has the kids time, full time. Yeah. Exactly. So and what that, do you need child? That's support what I'm saying. For? Like because if it's not petty towards him. It's petty in a way that's going to get more attention on you and, and your situation. Because that's she's why she's victim. on love and hip. She was on love and hip hop first with him. Now right. she on love and hip hop with Lil Fizz. So it's like I feel like she. I mean, but they were both already on love and hip hop. So I'm saying she ain't come back until she had the the Lil Fizz storyline. Well, what, what, where was she? It's in? her life. That's what's going on right now. That's, I honestly don't see nothing wrong with it. Everything is free game. We on a journey. She's trying to figure it out. And at the end of the day, if she was miserable and unhappy with Omarion and she's finding happiness and peace with uh, Biz, then I support it. But you know, you can't you know, help who you love. You can't. Is what you say. Facts. You can't because I love some niggas and it's just like, Lord, why? So, so, all right. Here's another question. Do we have soulmates? 
I believe in soulmates, but I, I think it's okay. levels to soulmates. Uh, do you think uh, let's get let's get into a deeper hey. let's get that's, into a deeper thing do you think you think you with your soulmate uh, no i ain't with nobody so no no not you not you oh. you think you like with your soulmate I think i'm personally think i think that I'm you're with your soulmate am. yeah that's but beautiful. i've thought that before <laughs> i've thought that before yeah facts so i i can feel it I think niggas be missing out on that yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I think that's like, just life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like when no, people... you have. I was just gonna say that, and I'm so glad you asked that. You can have more than one soulmate. You can? Yes. Really? You can have many different soulmates. You can have thing. friends that are soulmates. Think... You can have family members that are soulmates. You can have romantic partners that are soulmates. I feel like it's levels to soulmate, and we can't discredit each and every one of them because at the end of the day, it's all about our journey and people teaching us lessons and us learning from it. I also feel like when you call something a soulmate, just up, I'm losing my voice. I was at homecoming this week. It's all, it's all good. Um, but oh, man. I um, missed I think, homecoming this year. Uh, I went to UC. Shout out University of Cincinnati Bearcats. Damn. <laughs> Um, but I feel like the word soulmate puts too much pressure on you, you know? Yeah. Like you're kicking it with someone, you starting to like them. Yeah. Like right now, I always say like my boyfriend is who God wants me to be with right now. Yeah. I, Absolutely. Do, do I think that our relationship is healthy? Could I see myself marrying him and having children with him? Absolutely. Yeah. But I don't want to slap the soulmates. I don't want yeah. them to be like, no, we're supposed to be together that, no matter what. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if there's as much levels to soulmates as to like, there's no like real clear definition like, that you can apply because when I when I think about soulmate, I feel like this is the all right. We magnets in this world. This is this is the person that's gonna stick with you throughout throughout. Um, I don't necessarily know if you step out the realm of having like relationships. Like I don't know if I can be soulmates with like I don't know my cousin. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I can't be soulmate. Like, it's crazy, I bro. Like, I, I feel like you've been my soulmate for like the last decade. That's Dad, fucked up. Now, Dad, now here on the no. podcast live, we all yeah, heard it. Like, but no. We ain't soulmate. It's time no. to go over there. Ten minutes. She's we would, ten minutes. All right. We I, would, yeah, I, I, I feel like it's like definition. Like it'd be like definitions like apply. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah, with, Wait, me, with different you. definitions, it makes sense. Yeah, a soulmate. That's uh, yeah. I, that's that's some deep. That's some deep shit, man. Yeah, like, so I feel like I missed mine. No. Yeah, I feel like I missed mine, but that's all good. Cause that, cause just necessarily because somebody is a soulmate don't mean they ain't good for you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? How old am I? Thirty one. Thirty one. Yeah, I feel like I missed the soulmate. Already, you feel like you missed anything in this life. Like Thirty-one is so young. No, it's young, but I feel like I missed the soulmate. Cause right now I'm not about to go out and look for nothing else. Well, straight, I, straight I, where I'm at. Like your soul to be. is going to inevitably connect you to who you are supposed to be mated with, whether that is as a wife or. I'm on the fence about it, cause like I believe in all that, like. I believe in the soulmates. I believe in like the parallel universes to where you just always get attracted to the people who are supposed to be in your life, no matter what type of aspect they in your life as. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't know the the shit I read and see about soulmates. It'd be such a super deep connection, and I'd be like, "Damn, do I have that super okay, deep connection?" Thirty-one. You have not scratched the surface of the amount of people that life will bring. Well, this all I'm scratching. I'm done scratching. Yeah, we here. Say, yeah, hey, right. hey. I, I, yeah, I'm here. Pretty, I'm done scratching. Firm in this. So you're saying you're done meeting people. people. You just met us today. That's four. And not even counting every other so person. What's that's only, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? So what's up? Fuck these kids, man. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you haven't scratched I'm the talking surface. shit. I know you are. You haven't scratched the surface. I agree. So stop thinking so deeply about it and allow life to guide you. Fuck it. Hey. You are going to me. So I'm out here this weekend, nigga. I'm looking for my soulmate, nigga. What's up? I'm out here in these streets. Soulmate. Hey. Soulmate. Hey. I'm looking for you. We out, I ain't found my soulmate. We out here this weekend. I ain't found my soulmate. Y'all niggas heard it here first. I'm sorry, I'm hey, I'm sorry you ain't come with me yesterday. You, you might have found it. 
No. We gotta go? Huh? Are we ready? You not doing it? You about to go to Toledo. You about to go to Toledo. You ain't doing it. Why you not doing the match? We about to do it. Yeah, I think I missed my soulmate a couple couple spots back. You know what I'm saying? My soulmate don't talk to me. Why are you like I was about to say. <laughs> because I... <laughs> I my soulmate don't talk right. to me, bro. My face to read All right, I'm done. My soulmate don't <laughs> talk to me, bro. Look, my soulmate don't talk to me. That's how I feel. Like I feel like, yeah, my soulmate, we don't speak, and okay. that, and that's because that happened because we couldn't. All right, move because on, we bro. couldn't. Because stop. we couldn't. Stop yeah, inside hey, baseball. Hey, well, yeah, inside yeah, baseball. Yeah, baseball. She don't listen to the podcast. It's all good. She don't listen to the podcast. We're fine. Oh, I'm gonna say who. We're fine. No, don't say who. She don't. I'm not saying the name. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying the name. Yeah. You know. No, I'm not saying the name. Nah. That's great. Nah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So None of that. Love. But I feel like I feel like we missed out. We don't even he talk. So in yeah. love with a girl that he not with. Oh no no hold on hold on hold no, on. No way. Hold on. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, it ain't it ain't you know what I'm saying it ain't end up. Yeah. And it wasn't my fault. It was her fault. You waited too late. Yeah. Way too late to tell it me it was a connection. Fault. I knew it was one. You got that? Why did you you say got that, DJ? It ain't my fault. I knew fault. it was one. I ain't say nothing because I wasn't trying to make shit weird. We you was good where we was at. It ain't my fault. Yeah, man. I can't. I can't we was good where we was at. I can't so, comment so. on anything. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but I had to see. <laughs> I had to see what it was hitting on. I had to see Kevin what all the, the he was on had this to Kevin see what the hype Cooper y'all shit y'all had to see movie. what the hoopla was about. Nah, this nigga y'all, was on <laughs> that Boy Meets World episode. Wait, do y'all see he put his head in his jack in, in her jacket. I had to see. My niggas was like, "Don't do it." I said, "I'm gonna do it anyway." They've been going crazy. He's cracking me up. But no, but y'all agree. Like, I can have a soulmate and not be with them. I just think that, um, and if you watch four black girls, you'll hear me think this. Okay. Um, I feel you'll like men this. often are <laughs> are afraid to say like their intentions. Like you just said, you had someone you thought was your soulmate and didn't tell her because you were comfortable where you were at. So I was know, so invested. You know, let, let's say so invested in where I was at. It's like you I ain't about to do no, that. You weren't invested in where you were at. You're invested in your comfort. Uh, why would you? Why would you why would you? Why would you be comfortable when you take it to the next level? Supporter, I can, a little bit, a I can little respect bit. that. Yeah. I can respect that. Like I respect that. Because this is my thing. This is like a problem. You. Because <laughs> this is a problem. Like I like I always talk about how I make shit clear as soon as it comes to mind. I don't hold out on it. So it's like if you would have told girly like, hey, I think that. Our connection is deeper instead yeah. of just being happy where you're at. Y'all could be married. Why she couldn't tell right me now. her connection was deeper? Yeah, yeah, see? Because on, like, on the laws, because on the laws, hey, the only reason we even transition into something else is because it's because I said my connection was but deeper. But I feel like just because of I put it out, I was like, you know what? Check this out. Woo woo. Like, oh, damn, really? Why you ain't never tell me? Nigga? Why you ain't never tell me? But life ain't. I feel like. <laughs> you know I feel what I'm like saying? that that's yeah. not good. And I'm not saying settle, but we can't just go off, oh, our connection is so deep, let's be together. You gotta think about all the moving parts when it comes to being. And that's what I did. Yeah. You know I think I made saying? the best decision for yeah. everybody. Yeah. I, I yeah. just, because the thing is, guess what? Me and this person can have such a deep connection that we're so passionate about one another that the two of us probably will never even have peace. And peace is more important than yeah, that passion. Yeah, I mean, get, don't, I mean, they not wrong. Hey, bro. I I you love y'all. Like I love I love yourself. y'all. Y'all bring a lot to this shit. Yeah, y'all don't. Nah, this shit is dope. Like this is a dope conversation. But yeah, like it's important that you look for more than just oh I got chemistry because I have chemistry with several different people. Mm-hmm. But I got to think about the person I have chemistry with that is gonna work mm-hmm. with. Right. Yeah. That's a fact. It's a lot of moving parts. That's a fact. That's, that's, that's a fact. fact. That's, a that's timing, man. Parts. It's timing. Like that's you could just be in different places where it's not compatible. It is. It is timing. It'd be like, damn. See, compatibility is so powerful. Yeah. Because when people say that, they think like, let's be the same. And a key in a lock is compatible. You know what I'm saying? That key can can only open one lock. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So, and the key looks nothing like the lock. They don't resemble one another at all in shape and function. But they work together. But if I had two keys, what the hell function does that serve? Right. You know what I'm saying? Compatibility is what do you have that's going to work with what I have? 
yeah. so that we can create something else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just two good things. Oh, yeah, because y'all can be so compatible, y'all destroy each other. Exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, fact. yeah. Facts. Exactly. Facts. So. It's it's a lot of it come down to look where this April Jones little deal fish with. shit went. You see? Yeah. Look see. where this shit went. Forget it. Forget April. Yeah, no, this is where this shit went. This, you know this, this, this is what we like to do. I don't see a problem with it. This is what we like to do. And just so y'all know, and just so y'all know, Deja and Ashley don't have a problem with it. Y'all need to tune into the Fortnite podcast. Nothing at all. Oh, Ashley, Deja don't have a problem with it. I love the thing. Listen, if this nigga crack, if this nigga crack went at. Let's you know the names. If you went after any of that, I'm gonna be like, damn, nigga, what? what this hold on. Why you need that's what I'm saying. This gonna make me feel. Let's slow down. Feel weird. Like that's it's what I'm saying. Just, like let's slow down. Wrong. Like out of all the people in the world, you go for my boy. Like yeah, yeah. like but it's that's like why kids, I said your kids were calling him Uncle Fizz for sure. Yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah damn that's it. This ain't even sure. got shit that's to do so with so kids. Bad. That's why I was saying like it's a bit spiteful to me to, me. to yeah. do that yes. because you know the type of relationship that they have and sometimes we just don't get we don't get to our soulmates like we don't so that's if, if that's your soulmate too bad yeah you like yo, yo yeah you should have got to him before on your soulmate this time. and that's why i said it's timing <laughs> everything is just timing look, so listen what? bro deal with it <laughs> like you know i'd be upset if any nigga that i fuck with like if Jeff if Jeff tried to go get it, <laughs> Ebony, I'm gonna be mad. But like that's what I'm saying. But, like I, but like I was I, like I was fucking with her heavy. So that's it. But if it was just if it was just like all right, we just having sex. Oh, just, why, why, yeah, why, why. yeah, just go crazy, nice shit. have a good time. Yeah, I don't random like nice that. Shit. I don't like that to be honest. What? Like we just Cause look, was having sex? Not, yeah, because I just like it just. Man, if we just having sex, you. If we just having sex, it's nothing to me. See you. If that if that's what you want, my son be second by all means. Hey, now listen, yeah. now listen. I think I think. <laughs> what's up? Okay. Eight minutes. Listen. If you want my because Green Beanie son, was on here saying that no, it wasn't her. It was the singing chick. Can't remember her name. She said females are different when it comes to that. So care. it's a different level. If you want my boy, my boyfriend, no, you already know what's up. But if, it was a guy but if we just had sex remember, and that was it, it's cool. I don't care. All right, so so like this. So if I tried to get example purposes, if I tried to get it you, it's like you know what, I'm not feeling you, and I'm like, all right, that's cool. Try to get at her. You gonna have a problem with it? No, but I'm gonna have a problem if you are fucking me and then trying to fuck her. Okay. Yeah. Because See, this is some, like, but some women like have an issue with like if no, I tried to get at her and we like she's like I don't want right. you and I try to girl, go up the next person. Girl, he tried to talk to me. No, that's petty. But like, she said eight minutes. Eight she said eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight. 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 I'm gonna just throw out a smooth. I mean, if you want my sloppy seconds, that's cool. <laughs> but see, I feel like that's my my experiences with like sexual partners are different. Yeah. Because I've never just had sex with someone and we're fucking cool. It's always the nigga throwing rocks at my car and like doing all this toxic shit. He don't even oh, be doing. Oh, since you got that Annalise, I was about to say you got that Annalise. That how to get away with murder, boy. Hey, Annalise got that good. I swear to God, they be going crazy over Annalise you know on how to get away with murder. I've never you got that. All right. Throwing rocks at the car. Cold. It's always some toxic shit. Wow. No, I feel you. You know, so it's like, no, like, I almost beat my teammates ass in college because she fucked the dude I was having sex with. Like, that's the stupidest fuck. Yo. Wait, but did you care about Toxic, him? toxic yes. relationships are the oh, worst. See, the I was about to say, <laughs> no, and people get way. soulmates mixed up with toxic relationships. Like, hey, 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 I did it. I did it. They do it. Did it baby. Four black girls I did it, baby. So you hear me talk about it. I did it, baby. I thought, Kiera, I thought Kiera was the end all be all. All right. I you thought that what? was. You know what else is true. interesting? I thought that was that. Me and love to run a situation, but they don't like to be on the receiving end. Oh, hell no. Life. No. I was trying Y'all to look. I love to play the game. No, but what a woman that. would be like, oh, that's fine. Fuck I'm that. dating other women. I'm a dating Hey, my niggas was like, hey, bro, They're you need like, to leave. Wait, my no. niggas was like, you need to leave her alone. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> All right. We're going <laughs> to make this shit work out. All right. Uh, that shit like was that shit was terrible. They, they feel like I'm a I was in a terrible situation. I didn't want to hear it. They so y'all so stupid. Y'all rather sneak around, be stressed out because it because it feeds your ego. I would rather play her, play her, and play her. They keep it funky with everybody. Because if you keep it funky with everybody, then we're gonna be like, okay. But you love lying so that a woman can be chasing you, wondering what's going on. So what y'all about when you don't lie? What about when you don't lie? 
I'm one of them niggas that that didn't. That if you're it was up you front. Like, oh, it was up front. If you go up and your partner chooses to stay with you, I was still any, in them situations. Anything that happens is on her. It's no longer. I was yeah, still in toxic not, situations. It and it's like, yo, I, but I told you. But <laughs> so what? I didn't think. Nah, you didn't think, that's but I told you. Right, that's what she needs to check her self esteem. <laughs> right. Because if she's accepting something less than what she wanted, granted, if you in it and this is what you want, then this is what you get. We good. Yeah. But if you're accepting something less than what you wanted, then you need to check your self worth. Period. Because there's no way in hell a man go tell me one thing, he do another thing, and I'm off here, I'm up here moving forward on a hope, a wish, and a truth, a, a lie. I don't, I don't move off lies. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Keep it funky with me. I I'm feel that. Funky with you, I've always found be. benefits in being honest. As you should. No, I've I'm always a, found benefit in being honest. Would you agree? I I'll give this to you straightforward. Yeah. Like, listen, this is what it is. But me now, if you want to go forward with this, that's that. cool. So if a woman tells you that, how are you going to handle it? I would love it. Because I be got played so many damn yeah, times. I, saying, I love hey, if he was hey, just hey, up it's, front. It's, it's underrated how much no. women be lying to niggas, too. No, because when I was we single, be... <laughs> We, we we lie. Some of the times women have lied to me, I already know that you lying, so we really good. Yeah. Cause I, I want mean, you to think I want you to think that I don't know. Men be having it acting like y'all got it all together. And if a woman tell you that she's seen another guy, y'all gonna act like y'all wanna be in a relationship. That's true. That's true. Y'all gonna act like it depends niggas on can who be it possessive. Is. Yeah. Yes, y'all are and so that's possessive. Yeah, niggas can be possessive. It depends on who it is because Not some chicks and it's just me. I didn't got a chick mad at me because I wasn't possessive. Well, she got some daddy like, issues. Damn, what's wrong? She like, to to I, go ahead. Like, she doesn't go crazy. Use like. a condom. She needs to go to <laughs> Just use a condom. I'm Wherever using one. Because I'm using one. What was her name? Come on, man. We ain't doing all that. Uh, she young listen. Lady, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you listen. Young lady, <laughs> look into my eyes. Go get yourself some therapy. Yeah, go we'll get some talk therapy. Talk to somebody about that because a man possessing you is not love. She about to fuck the game up. Yeah. If he possess, if he possesses, he got some own his own insecurities that he he needs to be done away. We gotta go. All right, we gotta do this podcast mashup. Like, no, we hey look, we we gotta uh we gotta do an episode collab surrounding episode. Yeah. actually surrounding all this because I appreciate all y'all opinions, okay, y'all comments. Up. This we was like dope. It no, I'm serious. Yeah, y'all was dope. Like uh, y'all brought energy to it that I think no women have bought to this thus far, except Mimi. Mimi did. Mimi did, but y'all y'all did great. Uh, yeah, we got we got a collab. I fuck with y'all. I fuck I fuck with y'all. Uh, y'all not judgmental. You know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. fuck with that heavy. Yeah. Forecast <laughs> for black. Forecast. Girls. We about to go do this mashup. Black girls. Episode out. We're out of here. <laughs>